Hey everyone, hello! I am back from holiday. Hello, hello. So jet lagged. <laughs> it's not too bad, but I feel really tired. Like sleepy at the wrong time. Hungry at weird times. Sean and I will be like, should we eat something? Mm, I'm not that hungry. And then 10 minutes later, <gasps> I'm starving. <laughs> Hey everyone! I'm streaming from YouTube today uh, because just because I don't have an upload ready for YouTube. So I figured I'd just stream coming back from holiday, have that be the upload for today. And then uh, for tomorrow I have another fun indie horror recorded. So I recorded yesterday, I recorded an indie horror game. Uh, another, yet another Urbex vlogger. <laughs> I love them, honestly. It was really good. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a guy um, going out to an abandoned building for his YouTube channel. But the voice acting is really good. I'm excited for you guys to see it tomorrow. I was really, really impressed. Um... Oh, is Sean streaming now too? I wasn't sure if he would. He said he might. Is he on YouTube? Or is he on Twitch? Twitch maybe? Twitch baby? Yeah, I think I think he might be on Twitch. <gasps> How the tables have turned. He's on Twitch. I'm on YouTube and he's on Twitch. <laughs> oh, I got new um headphones. I went back to wired. I I couldn't do it. The battery life was the big killer for me, literally. I I didn't like the fact that I couldn't stream, couldn't use them for four hours. They they lasted like under four hours. And if a stream went a little long, then my the one in my right ear would go like, dun dun, dun dun dun. You know how the battery is like slowly dying, and it was so distracting that I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I looked up a Reddit thread on headphones for people with my regular migraines so like basically everyone was like yeah you can't do headphones like it's just instant migraine and i was like yeah so finally someone gets it i just can't do headphones um and then they were going over what are really good earphones to use and then someone recommended these i don't even know the brand Pennon. Um, but yeah, they're just like, they're just like old school, you know? They're like these tiny, soft... I, the only thing is I have no idea which one is the right ear and which one is the left ear. They're, they're red and blue, but they don't say L and R on them, <laughs> so I have no idea. So during the stream I might be like, what was that? Look to my right and like the sound was on my left on stream. <laughs> Red for right. Is it always? So I have blue in right right now, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, they're good. They're good quality so far. They weren't crazy expensive. They were 50 pound, I think. So a little high end for earphones, but not too crazy. Red is for right. Is that the, the rule? Red is usually right? Okay, I'll try that then. So R for R, red for right. Gotcha. I'll try it. Red is pretty much always for right. I had no idea. I was just looking at these colors like, where's the little letter? I always look for L and R. <laughs> even, I'm not even on the bottom of the earpiece. No, I couldn't find it anywhere. Do a test. Oh yeah, we can do a test. Uh, let's do an audio test. You guys say if it went from anyone with earphones in, uh, headphones on. Tell me if this goes from left to right. Uh, if I do this. For me, that was left then right. Left and right. Okay, okay, awesome. So, okay, red, red is right, I got it. Thanks so much. So I had them in the wrong way, okay. 
I wonder if I had them in the wrong way yesterday too, <laughs> when I recorded the indie horror. At least that's not too bad, because the, the scares were very much like BAM in your face, you know? So it was on all, you were attacked on all fronts. It was good though. I'm excited for you guys to see it. But yeah, for today, I'm also very excited. So obviously, as it always happens, the moment I leave for like a week or so, a super cool game comes out. Hundreds of people are like, are you going to play it? Why is she not playing it? Because I'm gone. So this week, the game was The Exit 8. So many people were like, you have to play this. So we're going to start with that one. We're going to check out The Exit 8. Um, and then after, I think The Exit 8 will be an hour max. So it's not too long. It's like one hallway, I think, that you go up and down all the time. Uh, <laughs> blue for bleft. <laughs> I like that. Um, but yeah, and then, so I think that shouldn't take us too long. So after that, I wanted to do a hollow cocoon. Let me check. I think I have it installed. Uh, yes. So hollow cocoon is like an Asian horror that came out uh, the other day. And I think it's like two hours long ish. I see hollow cocoon. <laughs> Was it Japanese or Chinese? I don't know. Uh, Japan. Oh, it is Japanese horror. Okay, so we have another Japanese horror. It takes place in the 1980s. Um, but yeah, it just looks cool. It's like little tiny ghost girls in kimonos. Kind of like fiddle frame vibes. Um, it just looks really gorgeous. So, And the reviews are very positive. So I'm like, okay. We need to play this. Um... And actually, we also have, so we have very exciting things coming out this month. Uh, one of which is the Dave the Diver Dredge crossover. I was like, what the fuck is happening? But that's very, very cool. Um, that's going to come out on the 15th, I think. So later this week. So we'll stream that probably on Twitch and then I'll bring it to YouTube after. Um, and there's another Chilla's art coming this month. Um, and it's like a found footage one, so I'm very excited for that one, too. So we have some really cool stuff to look forward to, I think. It's good to be back. I always, I always like that when I, like, I go away for a little bit, just a week. But then towards the end of the week, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to catch up on these games that are coming out. Can't wait to stream again. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for another Chilla's art. It's gonna be good, I think. I mean, they're always good, aren't they? When are they not good? I'm just surprised that they got another one out that quick. How's BB? He's good. He's snoozing right now. We're trying a new thing. Um, which is only insulin once a day. I don't think that's gonna be it, but... Um, because he's been, he's been too low a lot of times and we keep like decreasing his dose which is really good honestly it might mean that he's in remission but i'm i'm not 100 percent sure the vet isn't really saying it I, I think she doesn't want to get my hopes up you know but on this new insulin bb started on two in the morning two at night and then very quickly like a week later less than a week later he went to 1.5 1.5 um but then he was mostly dipping at night so he did 1.51 and then a couple days later, he started dipping too low again. So then he was on one and then half a unit. And it was a couple of days later, and it's a little too much again. So now he's only on one unit in the morning and nothing else. We're gonna, we're trying this out for a couple of days. Um, and he finally, he finally dipped perfectly. So I can show you, I'm looking at it right now. So he finally dipped to like the perfect depth if he went a tiny bit lower it would have been too low but it was like he came down really nicely he's just coming up a little too quickly maybe um i was hoping that maybe he would have stopped halfway up and coasted there a little longer but um so i think he still needs a night dose but maybe just not that much um like maybe maybe he only needs like a quarter unit <laughs> just a tiny bit um 
to like because last night he was a little too high as well but it's it's a little difficult you know every day is different um but we finally got him now to like a good depth the glucose without him dipping too low that is dangerous um so that's good but yeah it is a little like okay how are we gonna do this because we've had a couple days where he was high for most of the day but then he starts dipping towards like towards dinner time when he's supposed to get his second dose and it's like he's so low now for his second dose it's like you can't really give him another dose because then it's too dangerous um so we've had a couple days like that as well and i think i think we're gonna do a more of a custom thing where it's like oh on days that he's like this just wait a little bit with the dose or give him like this small amount instead of this amount or i don't know but um, we're trying just one in the morning for today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow during the day, I'll send her how it went. I'll let her send her all the, the little graphs again. And then she'll be like, yeah, maybe we need to do this. Maybe we need to try this. Um, but yeah, the fact that he went from four units, like two and two, to now one, that is a big difference. So he went down three whole units for in, in a day. Um, although I think he needs a tiny bit more. He, I think he might be on like one and a quarter, one and a half. But they, we're definitely making progress. Um, they, it was funny, funny as well. The vet was like, she was saying like, yeah, we, he's behaving a bit like erratically. But then again, like we've never had a cat who had, who always has a glucose sensor on. So we probably just don't know. <laughs> Um, because I've been like, I'm just switching shoulder blades for BB. So I'll like put one on his left, uh, on the left side of his back and then have that on for two weeks and then the right side gets a break and then I take that one off and then put another one on the right side and then the left side gets a break. So I like swap them. Um, has BB lost weight? No, he's gaining weight. He's 5.4 now. So he gained... 0.6 kilos since he was sick. So I'm very happy with that. He's now like perfect weight. He's, uh, his legs are better. He's walking better little by little. He's jumping a lot more, we've noticed, like over the couch and stuff. So he's, he's generally just improving. Yeah. But it's definitely a journey. Yeah, he went from, uh, I think when he was... When he came out of the hospital, he was 4.8 or 4.7, I think. Um, and then they were like, we want him to be at least 5.2, probably like 5.5 is fine. So he's 5.4 now, so he's doing really good. Sad, sad to know about, but nice to learn about diabetes. Yeah, it's it's been a learning journey for sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think... Uh, like, I, I definitely... There's definitely things that I don't know anything about. But I'm just, like, trying, trying my best, following the vet's advice. Um, I feel very lucky. Like, it's a very good vet. Like, they... They consult me. I can consult them so many times. Like I basically talk to them at least once a week about how BB's doing, and they don't, they don't charge me for like any of that. They only charge me for like if I get like a urine sample tested or something, or he needs to come in, or you know. Every now and then I'll get like a bill for like twenty five pound or something, and I'm like that's totally fine. Never thought cats could have diabetes. Me neither. I had no idea. I didn't think that was what was going on when his legs started going wonky. I thought he was just getting old. Yeah. Apparently it's fairly common, but I'd never heard of it. But then again, BB's my first ever cat, so... How old is Beeb? He is just over eight now. He turned eight in September. I think, yeah, September. Yep, 
Yeah, I saw on Instagram, I think. So honestly, I don't even know if it's true because honestly, you shouldn't believe anything I see on Instagram, but um, they said something about for older cats, it's usually their kidneys that fail um, and they're testing something that can prevent their kidneys failing because it's like a very common thing apparently when cats get older. And they're testing like um, some kind of medicine that you can give the cats that prevents their kidneys from failing. And it's it said in the reel that it might up the cat's average lifespan from 20 to 30. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. Can you imagine if your cat makes it to 30 years old? I'm 35 right now. That's crazy. That would mean BB, if BB would make it to 30, he would have another 22 years in him. <laughs> that would be crazy. I would be in my 50s. <laughs> yeah, that seems unreal, doesn't it? We, there are cats though, like the oldest cat in the world is like 27 or something, wasn't it? I think. But yeah, honestly, I think it comes down to just good exercise, like really healthy food for the cat. Um, and probably if you can give them something that keeps their internal organs healthy. Yeah. Didn't the oldest dog in the world die recently? And was like 30 or something? 31 and 165 days. 31. A dog that's 31. So I am barely older than that dog. That's wild to think about. <clears throat> Portuguese dog. Bobby. Born May 1992. <laughs> what breed was the dog? I don't know. Oh, what a good boy. Purebred. I don't know. I don't see a breed like at first glance in the article, but he looks cute. That's a 31-year-old dog right there. Looks good for 31. He even has some teeth left. But yeah, he dead now. 31. Not that you don't look a day over 30. <laughs> Yeah. Oldest cat was 38 years old. Oh god, I gotta Google this. Oldest cat. Oldest cat in the world. Cream Puff. The oldest cat to ever live was called Cream Puff. Texas cat who lived to be 38 years old and three days. Aw, oh, just made it to 38 and then I was like, alright, peace out. Cream Puff was born August 1967. Died August 2005. Holy fuck. That is crazy. Almost 40 years old. Cream Puff. That is a very cute name, yeah. <laughs> the, the funny thing is the first thing that I think then is like, okay, come on, spill the beans. What's the secret? Like, what you feed him? Oh, Flossie. Yeah, that was it. Fussy. Remember the UK cat? 27 years old. Oldest living cat at the moment. Looks very old. <laughs> oh, she was handed to Cats Protection in August 2022 when she became homeless after 26 years. I guess the owner died, maybe? Oh, the decision to give her away was taken by her owner 
in the interest of the cat as he was no longer able to give her all the care she needed. Hmm. I don't know if I could do that, but I guess, yeah, if you can't afford to keep the cat. I guess it's better to give them to someone else. Very pretty cat, though. Let me show you. This is flossy. Wait, can I zoom? Oh, yeah. 26-year-old cat. You can definitely see the age, but I remember, I think I showed you guys, I remember a little video of Flossie and she was still walking really well. Which is cool. Yeah, because our cat in Stardew Expanded is called Flossie after that cat. <laughs> <coughs> Old wrinkly face, yeah. I'm sure she doesn't have all her teeth anymore. I keep thinking about that with BB. I'm like, he's like crunching away on the kibble and I'm like, how how much longer are you gonna be able to do that? Like when when is the day coming where you bite on some kibble and you're just breaking a tooth or something? I have a 17 year old Persian, still going strong. Wow, there's a guy in my neighborhood who's 16 years old. She moves so slow. Oh, <laughs> old grandma. Can cats get fake teeth? I don't think so. I think you just start feeding them stuff that doesn't need to be chewed. Like, BB already gets like a pate basically for breakfast and dinner. Um, we're trying out a different brand. The vet recommended it. There's this new diabetic brand out that has a lot of omega-3 in the food. It smells really fishy, so I'm guessing it's just like fish omega-3. <laughs> Sean hates the smell. It smells really strong. Like if you leave the food out, you can it takes over the whole house. <laughs> but he likes it, and omega-3 is really good for him, I think, so. But yeah, he gets like he gets like a really soft pate that you can basically just lick up. So I think older cats just get a pate. Cat food stinks so bad. I I always feel like they smell fine. Like the beef ones and stuff. I'm always like... Like it just smells like meat and maybe some gravy. Like it doesn't stink to me. But this one I literally... When I opened it the first time I was just like... Oh. <laughs> it's really intense. But BB loves it so... Yeah, wet food's better for your cat. Yeah, my vet keeps saying it as well. She's like, really try and encourage BB to eat wet food. Because of the moisture, I guess. But I'm like, yeah, I'm trying. But he just really likes kibble. Sometimes he'll be in the middle of e eating his pate and then he just like walks away from it and goes to his kibble and eats kibble instead. <laughs> but I'm just like, as long as you eat, I'm happy. He drinks really well too, so... Not as much as before he got diagnosed, that thankfully went down, but he still like really enjoys a sippy of water, so. I add unsalted broth to our kitty's kibble. Ooh, that must taste good for him. That might be a good idea, yeah. Make them softer. Yeah. Any tips on getting kibble cats to like wet food? BB's still really picky. You can try a licky mat. Because um, it could be that they don't like their whiskers getting wet in a bowl. So you can try like a flat mat. That kind of worked for BB, but not always. Um, and I guess just trying to find a flavor that they like. Because I definitely noticed that BB likes meat more than fish. He likes beef, chicken, turkey. He, he is not a huge fan of like tuna salmon. He likes beef. Mix kibble into the wet food. Oh, I do that sometimes actually. Yeah. Oh, I should do that. I keep forgetting to do that. My cat would drop her kibble in water and then eat it. <laughs> like bobbing it up for apples. <laughs> My cat was allergic to fish. Oh. Yeah, BB's allergic to something as well. Never found out what. 
It's not too bad for him. He just gets like earwax. But yeah, we don't know what he's allergic to. I had BB since a kitten, yeah. I found him on the streets of Japan when he was like five weeks old. Yeah, I don't know. Can you do an allergy test for cats? I guess. But yeah, it's. I think it's just low priority because he's always had it and he's just fine. And it's not a crazy amount of earwax. It's just a little bit. Um, like it doesn't... He had an itchy face where you could see like his ear went like... Mm. And then he's like... Ugh, itchy. But now he's totally fine. You can do an allergy panel. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some cats, like BB as well. Cats. Some cats just really like the crunch from kibble. I think they don't like wet food because of how it feels on their whiskers. I think a, a thing with BB as well is that he doesn't like eating a lot of food. But if I give give it to him in little bits at a time, he'll eat the whole thing. But if I put the whole thing in front of him, he's like, no, too much. And then he just doesn't touch it. Or he's just a huge baby and he wants to be hand-fed all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Does BB understand Japanese? I don't think so, no. But it was funny. Today, I had my Japanese class today. It went really well. I'm very happy with it. Um, but he, BB was on my lap for a little bit of it. And... Um, she said like bibi chan at one point and bibi definitely went like huh <laughs> so that was funny but yeah oh so happy with how my japanese class went today it was like some parts i really struggled because i was trying to i was trying to explain the charity stream that we did for the cats and how it was like for domestic violence and stuff and like i was trying to explain in japanese that it's a service that takes care of the cat while someone escapes domestic violence in Japanese and I was just like I do not know how to like I was struggling it was very messy but she was like I was like sorry it's so messy I have a hard time explaining it she was like no no I totally get it so at least the message came across <laughs> um so that was good. But then um, the good part was then after my favorite part is the last bit of the class where we read scary stories. And we read one today about um, a possessed doll, which always is really just ready to jump in to tell me what it was. But then I would read it perfectly and then she'd just be like, Subarashi. <laughs> and then I would just continue. It was so satisfying. <laughs> and there's something so nice about her going like, Subarashi. <laughs> It's basically, she's saying like, like, beautiful in Japanese. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. What book am I reading? It's an old one. I'm reading this book. It's right here because I did my Japanese class in my room today. But we're reading from these. Um, They're just like really short stories. So one story is like, can be anywhere from two to four pages. So the one we read today was four pages, but that's the whole story. But yeah, it, they're really fun because they're really nice. Like they're short, so we can usually get through one or two stories at every lesson. Um, today we only had time for one, but yeah, super fun. But this is an old book. Um, she said that she tried to find it um so she could have her own copy right now i'm just sending her pictures of every like page that we're about to read so I'll, i always will send her like a pdf of like the next 10 pages basically and then once that's about to run out i'll send her a new a pdf with 10 pages uh, so that's how we're going through the book right now and she was like i tried to find it but it's literally not available anymore anywhere <laughs> i'm like yeah i bought this when i lived in japan I think I bought it when I lived in Kyoto, which is 12 years ago now, I think. Um, let's see, what's the publication year? <clears throat> I wonder if I can find it. 
Um, it doesn't say. This is the forward. It says it somewhere. I remember looking it up, but... But yeah, I think it was published a while ago. Do we know what... It's not Heisei anymore, is it? In Japan? What era are we in right now? What's the era after Heisei? What, wait, when did Heisei stop? We're in Deiwa? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. How many years into Deiwa are we? Because it says here it's Heisei 25. But I forget what Western year that is. Oh, maybe I have it here. Printed in Japan, 2011. Yeah. Heisei stopped in 2019. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 2011, 2012, second edition. Yeah. So it's it's an older book. I I they probably just don't even print these anymore. I have a little, little weird guy as my bookmark. <laughs> And I, I don't even remember where he's from. I think I just picked it up when I bought the book. It says Pera Pera. It's like when you talk fluently, it's called Pera Pera. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy that we're going through this book now. We're a good chunk in. I think we just passed page 100. And we read like a couple pages every time. So really fun. He's just a little guy. <laughs> Yeah. What are the stories like? Oh god, there was- remember, there's one I told you guys about that was so s creepy. It was like a ghost would show up, a ghost child would show up in the middle of the night and feed the mother pine cones as she was sleeping. I remember that one was creepy. Um, there's also like the usual ones where <clears throat> Someone picks up a hitchhiker and the hitchhiker like warns them or something and it turns out they were dead the whole time. That kind of stuff. Today's one was a possessed doll that was like a wedding gift. And the mother-in-law was like, you need to treat them with respect. You need to leave the door open a tad because they don't like to be trapped in a closet and stuff like that. And then um, they, the daughter ended up... Like, something happened, and then she was like, Okay, I'll respect you guys from now on, and, like, treated them really well. But then as soon as the mother-in-law died, the dolls died with her. Like, they molded over. Um, that was the day story. It was really cool. So it's, it's like, and that's like, what was it? Four pages? So it's like really small little, um, white pine cones. I actually don't know. It must be some, it must come back somewhere. I wonder if I... Uh, no, I can't find anything about it. At first glance when I... Um, oh, the spiritual significance of pine trees in Japan. Oh, it's a really long article though. <laughs> oh, the use of pine trees in no theater. Um, in Japanese, pine trees are called matsu, which means waiting for a god's soul to descend from heaven. Well, matsu is also just to wait. Uh, it just depends probably what character you use, kanji. Many no plays are specifically based around gods that come to the mortal realm to interact with humans, then reveal their true identity by the end of the play. Uh, the tree set to plant by Kami, specifically to bring other spirits together. Oh, so there are stories that trees bring two lovers together. In Japanese folklore, pine trees symbolize endurance and longevity. Even when all humans have passed away, the pine tree will continue to persevere, unchanged by the fleeting nature of human life. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, there, there probably is some significance some symbolism then about feeding someone pine cones 
Ooh, in contrast to the happiness that pine trees bring, there are trees in Japan that hold negative energy. Uh, there's, oh, Aokigahara. Ugh. That's a place I will never ever go. It's the suicide forest in Japan. Um, many suicides and murders have occurred there. The forest is large and expansive. Intensely negative atmosphere of the forest. But it's, that's not really linked to a type of tree, though. There's even a book written about this forest in 1960 by Seicho Matsumoto titled The Black Sea of Trees. Ooh, that might be a good read. Hmm. I need to open my Goodreads. One sec. I might need to add this to my to read. The Black Sea of Trees. Hmm. It's not on Goodreads. It must be pretty obscure then. Oh, sorry, microphone. But yeah, there you have it. Pine cones. <laughs> but yeah, that seems... Yeah, Aokigahara is like such a scary place to me. Kroba's tattoo finally healed. Nice. Yeah, my leg tattoo healed, but I'm... I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a couple months, maybe, before I go back. Because my... I don't know. It being winter, I can definitely tell my skin is more irritated lately. Everything is too dry. Like, showering today, after a shower, I spend like five whole minutes just putting on fucking body lotion. <laughs> it's like, okay, arms, I need to do torso, I definitely need to do legs. My knees get really dry for some reason. I have really dry knees. My elbows are really dry. <sighs> everything is dry. And then if I skip, if I get lazy and I skip one time, then everything gets itchy because it's so dry and irritated. My knuckles. Oh yeah, my hands are dry. I was actually... Oh, I forgot. I gotta <laughs> put on some lotion. Speaking of which... Yeah, dry knuckles, dry fingers. But that's... Dry hands is my own fault because I, I wash my hands with soap too often. So that really dries them out. It's moisturizing soap, but that doesn't help, does it? Oh yeah, my knuckles are itchy. So dry. Always dry. I get a dry forehead. That's lucky. My forehead's always oily. Always fighting like zits breaking out on my forehead. Ugh, I need a little extra. My thumbs need a little more loving. <laughs> Prime content right here. <laughs> oh, that's so nice though. <laughs> Sweet relief. Way too dry. Oh. Yes. It's like scratching a good itch. Oily forehead means less wrinkles? Really? I guess I have that going for me. Will you play Lethal Company? I think so. Um, I asked the guys if they were down, and I think we might record some tonight. I actually forgot about that. Um, but yeah, we might record or stream. I don't think I'll stream tonight since I'm streaming right now. I might just record it and put it on YouTube later. Uh, but yeah, speaking of which, should we check out the Exit 8 first? Um, I opened it the other day, and it just like goes straight to the game. And we're in. <laughs> Hold on, dude. I don't know who you are, but I need a moment. Okay. Uh, so for anyone who just came in, this, this game has been... Came out? Came out of nowhere, didn't it? It came out of nowhere like last week or something and apparently it has something to do with anomalies. 
I don't think this dude can be trusted because he was creepy in the trailer. Good day to you, sir. Can't. No smoking. Bye. What if we follow him? <laughs> Start the game instead of going down the hall. I'm just like... Oh, you checking your phone? Is it really quiet? I can put it up. Actually, do I have... Oh. What you doing? I don't know like the way you look at me, sir. You off to work? Do you... Oh, it's a camera. I thought he was holding his phone, like, upside down and that was like a thumb button. Oh, Nambu Park. Nambu Koen. Misusechu Gakko. Uh, Yonago Ji? Narihira Biru. Hapongi Saten. He doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. So what is going on here? Jeez. What's up with these patterns? So many lines. This actually looks... This looks like actual posters. That was always so confusing to me, how they list their opening times. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday open, Thursday closed, I guess, in the morning. Friday, Saturday, yes. Sunday, no. Arubaito pato boshu chu. Oh, dai boshu. They're hiring tons of... Thought I heard someone. Hiring tons of people. <laughs> Look at that good boy. Wan <laughs> chan mo dai yorokobi. <laughs> Happy doggo. Mm. Oh, what's this? Flowers on your eyebrow? Makeup art photo exhibition. Oh. Move fest. Security camera in operation. Yeah. Concourse. Hmm. How do you read this again? Bull... Bull guy? Bull guy? No. Come it up. Anyone in chat? Is it Sadochu? I think it's Sadochu, but I can't read the first bit. Bo something? Bo Han? Bo Han Kamera? Bo Han. Yep. Prevention of crime. Bo Han. Thank you. Bo Han Kamera. Sadochu. I think it's Sadochu. Oh, oops, misspelled. Sado. Yeah. Sadochu operation. Is that important that we're being watched? God, these details. Cleaning closet. Uh, employees room. Employees only. Electrical. It's very detailed. But it's only this hallway, right? Sa Sagawa? Hidarigawa? Hidarigawa tsuko. Keep left. Go kyo kudasai. Oh, I can tell my Japanese is all warmed up because I just had my class this morning. Sounds a little less rusty. Oh! We looped! Yeah! So we want the exit, right? So that's all the same. Hey, dude. Do you think he's stuck with me? Oh, right. Zero. 
I think... From what I heard, so many people are talking about this. We need to like... We can get out once it says number 8. Oh, this is different. Go on night. Don't overlook any anomalies. If you find them, turn back immediately. If you don't find them, do not turn back to go out from exit 8. Okay, let's see if we can read this. Henka... Henka o minogasanai koto. Is it Henka or is it Ihen? I think actually it's Ihen. Let me see. Yeah, Ihen. Unusual event. Anomaly. Ihen o mitsuketara sugu ni hikkaisu koto. Ihen ga mitsukara nakattara hikikaisanai koto. Hachiban deguchi kara soto ni deru koto. I can read it! Woo! Okay, so... There's... These posters look the same. This dude looks the same. Like, how detailed is it? Is the Japanese gonna... Change? That I can't do that, right? Because it's playable by... English-speaking people. Hey, one! That changed. But one is good, right? So that means that we now pass the hallway without anything changing. Okay, well that looks... Everything looks the same. Oh, do you think those vents up there are important? There's two right now? I don't think that camera was there. Was it? Maybe I just didn't see it. The door? Is the door different? You might want to stay, stay longer for the... The vents can chase cameras. Is the dude losing his hair? He's getting old. That's how long we've been in this hallway. Hey! Number two! Okay. No smoking. Vent, door, vent. These are the same. The dude looks the same. Camera, camera, camera. Oh! Oh god. Dude, save me. I'm scared. Are we gonna just go back? Oh! <gasps> Hey! Oh, that's so fun! <coughs> Wait, but he was just following me. I guess not. Okay. Vent or vent. Camera, camera, camera. No smoking. Wait, was that? Yeah, posters there. Keep left. Number four. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do you think that could change? Oh. Okay. Check the back of the ceiling sign. <gasps> Number five. Yeah, the concourse. Camera. Uh huh. No smoking. The lights one was scary. Oh! Oh! Turn back. Okay, so. Number six. So the name of the game is like... We need to get to eight. And there's two outcomes to the hallway. So it's either good or bad. What's that click? Are you moving? Are you good? Keep left. Seven. Okay. 
Okay, vent door vent. Posters are the same. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? There's a dude hiding there! I don't like that! It's scary! Number eight! Does that mean I get to go? He's very quick. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. He's coming. Okay, now he's normal ish. I thought he was gonna chase me out. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, bro. No smoking. Cameras. Keep left. Ah! I did it! <gasps> Freedom! Fresh air! Nice! Should we go through it again? Are there, like... A lot of different anomalies that can happen. Go into the light. That was super fun. So short though, I want more. Yeah, we gotta go again. Observation duty prepared you for this? It did, yeah. Although the I would say the anomalies we got this time were very obvious though. Thanks for using the underground passageway. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. There's 27 anomalies that have not been found. Wait, so can we keep going and does it count down to how many I haven't seen yet? That would be super fun. Chikatsuro goryo itadaki arigato gozaimasu. Goryo no minasama ni wa go fuben no okake itashimasu ga mitsukatte inai ihen ga niju nanako arimasu. He's coming. Oh, he passed me. Literal speed run. Dudes, and I was taking my time. I was reading all the posters. <laughs> okay, so now we kind of know the layout of the place. I don't think the posters... Like, they might change, but not like, not like hard mode observation duty, you know? It's like the price isn't going to change, I think. Like, the eyes moving, that was pretty good. I don't think the Japanese text would change. They do change. But not tiny details like that, right? So this is new, that's fun. Oh, Jesus! Dude, you're missing your face! Christ, okay. Does it say 26 now? Oh, it does! Ah, that's so fun! <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Are you okay? Doing good? I think so. No smoking. Cameras. Keep left. Number two. 26. <coughs> Wait, so technically we could just not finish it and intentionally go into the wrong direction to keep the game going longer and longer? Or does that kill us if we take too long? Are you an anomaly? You good? You good, fam? Oh, right. You should check this too, right? Concourse. Sorry, I ate before <clears throat> streaming. So my throat always gets a bit <clears throat> congested. Three. Camera. 
box. <gasps> the door's gone. Bye! Twenty-five. Camera. Box. Smoking. Vent door vent. Box. Vent door vent box. Posters. Wait, I haven't looked at you. Huh. Okay. Looks good to me. Camera. Box. Poster. Vent box, vent box. Vent door. Even. Vent door, vent. Vent door, vent box. You okay? Yeah. Jesus! Oh! Water! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! 24. <laughs> Poster. Box. And. Uh huh. Okay. I want that little mystery man on the wall again. <clears throat> this time I'll go up to him. <gasps> I made a mistake! Well, that's fine. We got 24 to go anyway. Okay. It went to zero because you went back. Oh, to check on the blood? I was not allowed to. <clears throat> He's strutting his stuff. Keep having to check if the eyes aren't moving. Hmm. Still zero. I wonder what I missed. Face in the ceiling. Hi, dude. Face in the ceiling? You can go back and see what was missed. Oh, does it remember it? So this hallway is the same? Posters can increase in size. Oh. Well, I don't see anything in the ceiling. Keep an eye on the face in the ceiling or the face in the yellow tiles. What? There can be something in these? Okay. Twenty-four. So I definitely didn't look at it. Whatever it was. Oh. Do they kill you when you go closer? Do we want to try? <laughs> Evil twins. Hi. What y'all doing? Late for work? Oh! They're gonna fly at me, aren't they? <laughs> We're so close! <laughs> Hi! Oh my god! Stop! Oh, I can just walk into them. Oh. You got like little dumpies going on. I see you. Okay, uh, bye. Oh! Oh. I was gonna turn around. Oh, perfect! 
It just puts me here. Oh, fun. Okay. That's a quick reset. I thought I was going to have to restart the game. Oh, no, wait, because the game just starts immediately. Oh, that's nice. Okay. <clears throat> this is a really good original take on the anomaly system. Is that a game genre now? Are we calling it anomaly gameplay? Wait, what if this is different? Nah, they wouldn't, right? I think I missed something. Hallway dude needs a name. Benny. He's a Benny to me. Hey, Benny. If you miss it, does it stay the same or do you just start over and get a new chance? Oh, that was good. 24. The poster with the eyes can do more than move just the eyes. Yeah, we'll have to see. The posters look the same. He looks the same. Concourse? Poster? Keep left? Okay, number two. Oh, that's an obvious one. Okay, bye. Thank you. 23. <laughs> Camera? Camera? There must be really subtle ones that I'm missing. Because we make... I've made a couple mistakes. ceiling face oh that oh that is very subtle though that's it damn okay thanks for pointing it out i did not see that guy hey four 22 this is so fun god i hope they add more levels did I pay for this? I don't remember. Can't have been expensive. Oh, I thought I saw the weird guy again. The wall dude. Okay. Do you think now that we've had ceiling face happen, it won't happen again? Oh, I missed it! Hmm, I wonder what it was. The doorknob? Oh, CJU, hey! Oh, CJU. I always say CJU. Sorry, you can't knock it out of me. Can I still see the door? Oh! <laughs> oh, did I not see that? It's like a little belly button. <laughs> Wait, can I... Still go back? Do you think that still counts? Probably not. <laughs> I guess maybe it only... Oh, that's weird. I guess maybe it only counts if I see it and then go back. Yeah, it's because it still says 22. Oh, now it's... Oh, uh, wait. Uh... Oh! Turn back. Huh. Hikikaise. You got it. One. Twenty-one. Nijuichi. Okay. 
I want to see floor face. We haven't had any double ones happen so far. I wonder if it just like goes down the list. That would be awesome. Poster. Wait, which one are you talking about? Poster with the guy. This one? Oh! That is a tiny detail. I didn't even see that. I wonder if it still counts. I think so. 20. 20. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I do have to... Oh yeah, now you're cute again. <laughs> Do I have to pay a little bit of attention to the... Since when do you look at me like that? Excuse me? Wait, does he always do that? <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Go back. Is that a... Does that count though? Because it's... Oh, it does! Because I wouldn't say that's... Like... 19, yeah. It's not unnatural for someone to be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's not quite an anomaly. <laughs> he made eye contact! Run! Yeah, he doesn't do that. It's funny that I noticed that. I can't believe I didn't even notice that doorknob. Cameras are still fine. There's a new poster. Prolonged eye contact. Wait, what? New poster? These are the same. Sometimes he smiles. Looks good to me. Yep. Okay. 19. Too cute. There he comes. <clears throat> His last name's Hill. Benny Hill. <laughs> What's up, Benny? Yeah, you keep on walking. I'm busy investigating. Looks the same to me. I have gotten the water, yeah. Mm, floor face? Five. The one where he walked really quickly was creepy. Okay, Benny. Ah, the door! Hee <laughs> hee! Yes! We got it. Bye, Benny. Six! <sighs> Too hot. Floor face? Growing. 
バベに17 Not bad for someone with a jet lag <laughs> Doing pretty good Benny Is he wearing pink socks? It's cute <laughs> Wait, you see something? I didn't see anything. The twins one didn't count because he died to it. Mm. Thought he shouldn't have socks. Ah, oh, zero. I made a mistake. I wonder what it was. Oh Christ! Okay, bye. Jiroku. I guess we'll w run into the twins again then. If they hasn't, if they haven't counted yet. I'm not gonna go in there. I wanna live. Go in. Should I? It's probably just death, right? Oh, Jesus. Christ, I thought that was gonna be a big jump scare, but it's not 2016 anymore. something there or is it just the first loop doesn't count maybe then he got his 10k steps he sure did wait Benny you're huge he definitely got his steppies in nice Jiggle. <laughs> Benny become big, big man here. Yeah. He's huge man's cousin. That's a regular side Benny right there. Oh, jeez. Okay, bye. Benny, wait, hold up. I'm coming. Jiyong. Okay. Don't attack me, Benny. Concourse. Okay. I wonder where floor face is gonna be. Oop, oops. Okay. Yeah. 
Here we go. What if he suddenly just like jumps a little bit? He's just like hop. Start skipping. Okay, four. Oh! Boosters! Okay, bye! I didn't even have time to see Benny. Juice, huh? That door opening was really spooky. Benny? left. Okay, we still have 13 to go. Keep waiting for those vents to swap. <laughs> swap places. Y'all good, Benny? Heading for the concourse? face <laughs> it's like a little pancake face <laughs> like someone fell face first in face first into the snow <laughs> Junie okay we got tile face still 12 more to go though oh oh okay 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 I'm out Lights flickering, does that count? Juichi, yep. Does that mean I'm out? Maybe one more? Benny? Pink socks? Concourse? Stairs? Yay! Ah, freedom! This is so fun. Let's go again. I wonder if we can find all of them. Shouldn't be too hard. We haven't gotten any duplicates yet. Like, if it doesn't throw duplicates our way, I think it should be pretty easy to do. It should really all together only take us an hour or so. We go again. <laughs> Eleven. Let's go! Damn, Benny, wasting no time today. How you doing? On your way to the concourse? Cool. I, I bet they're gonna get trickier now though, right? Because we missed a couple so far. So there has to be more somewhere. Oh wait, Sean is streaming too, right? Someone at the door. One sec.
someone had to go to the door. And it's me. Because I can hear it. <laughs> I don't think Sean can hear the doorbell. <sighs> okay. So. Did I miss anything? Do you guys see anything? Benny was at the door? Did he not go here? He's here. Oh, Benny at the door, the front door. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you guys meant that. I didn't see that he went into one of these doors. Oh. I am not out of shape. Sprinting up the stairs is, makes me out of breath. Yeah, Sean also wears headphones most of the time. I'm just a little quieter, you know. Okay, I think we missed one. Well, with, when I say we, I say I missed one. There's probably someone in chat who was like, How did she not see that? Haven't had the vents move yet. Unless they move way less than I think they will. Did the price on the poster change? Oh god, I hope not. I would not catch anything like that. Yeah, honestly... A face on the ceiling? We've had that one already. I don't think that's gonna show up again. Yeah, one. Okay. Let's see. So we had- Oh, the twins! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Uh, that was good, right? <gasps> Jude, only ten left. Okay. Oh, the floor tiles are different. Bye. Cute. <laughs> okay. Benny. Pink socks. Concourse. Hmm. I think it looks fine. Keep left. Number four. Okay. Degussi, eight, upside down. Bye. Five. Hut. <laughs> what is it? Oh! Who the fuck? That is so creepy! That is so creepy! <laughs> Bye! Not today! Nana. Okay. Got a couple good ones. Benny? How you doing? Going to the concourse? No creepy lady this time? I wonder if this says go right at some point. Hmm. Keep left poster words have to be black. Those don't change. Hmm. The vent? <coughs> hmm, I don't know. 
the vents look fine to me, but honestly, I don't know exactly where they're supposed to be. I just know on either side of this door, but... Hey, Benny. How you doing? Doing good? It went to zero, just reset. Oh. So it was like a vent thing that I missed? Oh yeah, zero. Okay, seven to go. Oh, the lights! <laughs> They're so wonky! Doku. Okay. Hmm. Benny? Pink socks? We still need to get that open door again because I went through it just to see what would happen. Okay, I don't see anything here. So I'm gonna just... See? Still zero. Oh, what am I missing? What was it? Hmm. Poster moved? Really? Moved how? How did I... Were they closer together or something? Go back and look. Oh, right. Wait, can I still? Does that still count? I feel like it just reset again. Did this head just glitch? Well, it looks fine now. It's set once, so I think you reset already. Wait. Did it say five? Five! What did I do? What did I look at? I did something right just now when I turned turned around. The eye poster walks with you. I missed one completely. You have to turn around before you hit the next exit sign. Huh. I've invested the yellow sign. Oh, I see. Oh, so I wasn't too far yet? I'm confused. So I guess I just ran by it then. So this poster moved with me along the wall? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, still zero. Wait. Does that mean... There's something here? Benny's cell phone disappeared? Is a cell phone. He busy texting his girlfriend right now. Hey baby, gonna be home soon. As soon as Gab finds the exit aid. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's just reset it because now I'm confused about which way I'm facing. Let's just go to a new one. Five. Okay. Fresh start. Here we go. Oh, that's an anomaly, isn't it? There's no way. I don't trust it. It didn't say a, a, yon. Okay. Yeah, there was no no Benny in that one.
Benny. He has a phone. Pink socks. Okay, poster didn't follow me. I don't know if that one counted or not. You miss Big Benny. <laughs> Wait, I missed something? Which one is it? You want Tile Man? You want Pancake Man? Pancake Face? He doesn't wear socks. I like to think he wears pink socks. Gives him a little flair, you know? Well, I'm gonna just keep going. Hey! Number two. Still at four. <clears throat> okay. These must be the harder ones. Because I missed a couple as we went along. So, if we're down to the last four, that means the last must be quite difficult. Benny. Right. Oozing vent. Oh, one of these can ooze? Okay. Keep an eye on that. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything different. I think this is safe. Still four. Oh! Oozing vent! There it goes! Stinker. What a stinker. Okay. Song. Here we are. I always have to keep an eye on Benny as well to be like, you're not creepy, are you? You can attack me or are you good? Okay, we had an oozing vent. Poster's eyes aren't moving, but I guess we already got that one. <laughs> yep, looks good to me. Five. Wait. <clears throat> oh yeah, three. Three's good. <clears throat> oh, the camera's red. That's new. I'm out. Six. Two anomalies left! Start stuck in the corner. Okay. Two left. One of them has to be the door that opens, because I technically died doing that. I don't see anything. Seven. Two left. You good, Benny? Sometimes every now and then I think I hear like a footstep behind me. I thought your pants had holes in them. Keep left. Eight. Two to go. Think we're gonna get out one more time.
flowers? Benny. Oh, he's smiling! Dude, Benny, you never have a good day. What's going on with you? Don't trust it. One. Hitots. It's. Oh, wait, I have to do it again? Okay, let's see. Last one. Benny? How you doing? How you feeling? Doing good? Concourse? Mm hmm. <laughs> we need one more though. It could just be the open door. Let's see. Wait. So if... If there's only one left, does that mean once you've done them all you just get a clean run? Like there's no anomalies left in the game? The door is the last one. You can just skip through all the loops. Yeah, I guess you can reset the game, probably. Just delete your um, probably local file or something. Okay, one anomaly. It has to be the door, right? Let's see. Or it's something else. I'm trying to see if it has to be the door. Yeah, that's the one. There it is. So that might be the last one. Yeah! <laughs> Find all the anomalies! Thank you for using our underground passageway. Subete no ihen ga mitsukarimashita. Kono tabi wa... Uh, what's that again? Tochi... What is that? Tochi... Satsuro? To chika? No, chika. Tochika tsuro? O gori o itadaki. Makoto ni arigato gozaimashita. How do you read that? Tochika tsuro? Chika tsuro sounds familiar. I think that's correct. Chika tsuro. Yeah. Yeah. But is it just tall like this? It's atari, isn't it? Yeah. This. To. Yeah, I said it right. To chika tsuro. Gori o itadaki. Makoto ni arigato gozaimashita. Oh, Benny. You have fun in there, yeah? <laughs> Keep texting your girlfriend. Someday you'll get home. Someday you'll be big brain like me. Okay, bye. So now it just doesn't spawn anything anymore? I guess not. Oh, there he is again. Hey, Benny. Yeah. Okay, cool. We did it. I wish there was more to it. And it was exactly an hour. Wow. Um... Let me check out this dev on Steam. Is this the first game they made? Because that was awesome. Now I understand why so many people were like, Gap, you have to play this. Because I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. Yeah, this is their only game. Hmm. Very cool. I hope it did well for them. There were tons of people asking me to play it. So it must be going around with all the YouTubers. Um, super fun. I I kind of hope that either they do DLC or like an update where they just add more anomalies or do a new hallway with the same concept and then you just have to like have like one big game that has like I don't know four levels that are four different hallways but they play kind of the same. That would be great. That was super fun. Um, yeah, actually I turned on the music but I guess we could just dive straight into Hollow Cocoon. Yeah, that was awesome. So fun. 
And but also really nice that like the in a way it was really nice that the anomalies didn't like repeat. Um I don't mind it for like um what was the other one we did? What's the one? There's only one level. Um not observation duty, but there's another game we did. Oh wait, I forgot I turned the music up. Because the game was so quiet. Fair eyes, no. Um the one that only has one level. Uh with the really scary anomalies. Alternate watch. That was it. Yeah, I don't, forgot the title. Um like Alternate Watch, the atmosphere and the anomalies were so good, and there were so many that I didn't mind replaying it. Um, but in this case, like with how small the scope uh, of the level was, I think it's nice that you can just kind of like go through it and then be like, wait, I missed something. What did I miss? And then you can kind of like, like because they don't repeat, you can, in an hour, you can see everything the game has to offer. And there is something nice about that, I think. Um, but yeah, now I do immediately hope that I hope that this is really successful for them and then they just make 10 more of these games. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, but yeah, uh, the other game that I wanted to get around to is Hollow Cocoon. I've had this on my wish list for a while and it's a Japanese horror game. So I guess we're doing two Japanese horror games today. Um, but it has good reviews and it looks really good. Oh, one sec, it's not full screen. Uh, there we go. But yeah, it kind of... Oh, what is this resolution though? <laughs> Let's see. What are we on? 720? Full screen. Brightness a little up, V-Sync on, texture, oh, I never know what to do with these. I think guess that's fine, motion blur off. Okay, how do I apply this? F. Ah, that's better. How's the wind? I can't, oh, actually master is there and then this is, Maybe we should put the voices up a little bit. That might be good. I guess I'll just go with their default settings for most of this. I wish I... Extra large. Subtitle, background. Okay. Center dot. That might be nice. Event camera shaking. Replicates head movement during events. Yeah, let's turn that off. That click sound. <clears throat> what is it from? It puts me like straight into a PS2 game. That sound. Is it like Resident Evil? <clears throat> it sounds like Resident Evil 4 or something. Something like that. Okay, I should be good now. Let's check it out. Difficulty does not affect the ending. That's a very Japanese thing to me. Select the items to bring. I have nothing. Running only consumes stamina when spotted by an enemy. Oh, scary. Let's see what it's like. I know nothing about this game except that it looks pretty. Jinba, Minato kun. It's in Japan. Okitakudasai. Okitakudasai. Yeah, it looks gorgeous, set in Japan. It looked very atmospheric from the screenshot, so I was like, you know what? I'll just wishlist it, see what the reviews are like when it comes out. Reviews are really good, so. みなとか。みなとか。
お前のおばあさんが倒れたと診療所から連絡があったあの私も仕事で知らせを受けるのが遅れてしまったんだ詳しい容態はわからない明日の朝一お前と私でその診療所へ何言ってるんだよ母さんの実の娘の葬式にすら顔出さなかった人の見舞いに行くのか俺の知ったことじゃない<笑>ミナトお前がキムさんをよく思っていないことは承知だユイの葬式の一件もあって私も10年以上疎遠にしていただがキムさんにはもう親族はお前と私だけだ<笑>ましてや血のつながっているのはお前一人明日一ノ瀬診療所で落ち合おう<笑>分かったよ父さんうんということあり当院では満足な検査もできませんし、現状は証拠を保っていますので、大病院への転院をお勧めしますが。ああそうですか。わかりました。ミナト、お前は一足先にキヌさんの家に行って休んでいます。Uh-oh. What's going on at her place? 鍵を渡しておこう。キヌさんが持っていたものだ。私はキヌさんの転院を済ませてから。車でお前を迎えに行くとしよう。うん。OK、cool setup so far, damn。ほほほほ !It looks so good!Took a bus.Automatic doors, let's go. They all have such nice voices. Yeah. Music to my ears. Wow. <sighs> Amazing. This looks so cool. What the fuck? Ichi no se basta. Ichi no se bas no riba. バスが通っていて助かったな。出なきゃここまで歩く羽目になってた。<笑> you don't have a car? I guess no, not, you wouldn't. Not many people have a car if you don't live in the countryside. Missing. Oh, I can zoom. She took a car. She went to grab vegetables. She went to forage, basically. And then went missing in the mountains. 84? What about this lady? Kanda. What an unusual name. What was she doing? The night of the third, she went grocery shopping, left her house, never came back. She was wearing a cardigan, yellow cardigan, and a checkered skirt. Hmm. God, this looks so good! Feels like I'm back in the Inaka. I love it. Ooh, should we go snoop? Kinda want to! Hello! Oh, 10 yen coin. Oh, don't tell me it's manual saves. In the inventory section of the menu screen, view items that mean it's a and HP. Certain items like Seimei Gun, which replenishes stamina and HP, can be used directly from the inventory. Seimei Gun? What's that? Is this Seimei Gun? Old key. Front door to her house. Needed to play the 10 yen game. 
There might be way more to this game than I thought. Seeing the inventory like that. I thought we turned off head bob. <laughs> Post. Wow, look at that game. Oh, this is where you play the game. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Flick, lever, left and right. Shake. Oh. <laughs> it goes, like, not far enough, and then it just fucking shoots into outer space. So just past that wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, how do I get it? Oh, I see. I need to shoot it to the middle. <gasps> oh, fucking pro gamer over here. Atari. Winning ticket. Shared between safe files. Sure. Okay. That one's broken. He said broken. So why did I play that game? <laughs> what are we doing? Wow. It's giving me siren vibes. Can we go up this? Hmm. I need to turn down the sensitivity a little bit. It's making me... Oh, head bob. Nice. Didn't see that. Uh, no. Safe. Yes. Okay. That might be. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, <gasps> thank you. Gotta love customization. Damazetai Huntai. Damn the dam. Don't destroy our towns. They were against building of a dam. Furusato Kowasuna. Don't destroy our town. This area, including Ichi Nose village, is planned to be a dam construction site. Again, this is kind of... I'm a little like, the hospital bit was seemed like Fatal Frame 3, and now the dam thing seems like Fatal Frame 2. <laughs> Who is this handsome fella? Nezumi Kaisi? Return of the Mouse? I don't know if that's what it means. Maybe it's a famous play or something? Which way should we go? We might have to go left? Ah. Okay. Makata. Looking for some coins. Got any of those 10 yen coins? Hell yeah. I don't even know what the thing was for. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. What do I use it for? Thought that was a piece of paper, but... The game's called Hollow Cocoon, yeah. Oh, crows. Oh, that's so nice looking. Oh, I got four. Oh, that's like stealing from the dead though. Eee. Who the fuck is that? Where are you going? <laughs> Bingo? Do you think she lives here? 
מי אמר? おお、そうプリティ。お父さんとお母さんに連れられて、じいちゃんの縄文に来て以来。この家に来たのはその時一度きりだが、あまり変わっていない気がする。I Dude, this is so nice. Oh my god, can you imagine? Chilling on your chair like that, just looking out the window. What a gorgeous house. This is all gonna get destroyed because of the dam. Locked? Okay. Time to go in. Dear Kinumiyama, I have recently been approached by Town Hall. They have requested that I, as the mayor, intervene and persuade you to comply with the eviction notice issued for the dam construction. I understand how truly heartbreaking it must be to have to leave the land that your ancestors had protected for generations. However, it must be acknowledged that both I and the villagers have very reluctantly accepted this project out of necessity. Considering the prosperity of the Miyama family silkworm business, I am conf confident that your silkworms will continue to prosper in any new location. Perhaps it is time for you to contemplate a fresh start as well. Between us, rumor has it that whenever substantial amounts of money are involved, ill intentions come with it. It would be wise for you to make your decisions quickly, the mayor. Hmm. Ah, nice. Dude, your voice. It's like butter. Uh huh. Entrance key. Oh. Iro iro atte mo kutakuta da. Fucking dream house. Dousan ga mukai ni kuru made. Doko kare yasumo. You taking off your shoes, dude? I guess I don't have feet. Oh. <laughs> Light switch. No need to switch it on. Really? Oh, I see. Oh, so nice. That is so nice. What's this? Oh. Oh. ミヤマケは成りわいにしていた三修行を随分前に辞めてしまったらしい。その名残か、キヌさんはここで解雇を買っていて、子供の頃に解雇の話をした。解雇はそこ。キヌさんと話したのは歴史で。すごく嫌な
じいちゃんを抹しんだおお不注意で落ちた事故だったらしいうーん I don't know hey chickens ニワニワニワトリなニワサンワイル It's a tongue twister There's two chickens in the garden ニワニワニワニワイル Oh no chickens No so many chickens Poker and dead chickens are scattered about. Is she killing them? Hey, there's another one. You should do it. What's this one? Do it again. Let's get, for, get a home run. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what I'd use those for, but... I'm winning. Can I get the egg? Crouch. Egg. Eat to permanently raise defense slightly. It's still warm. Ooh. You gonna eat it raw? It's fucking raw! Okay. This is so nice. This must be so nice during springtime. You can just like open your doors, sit on your porch, have a cup of green tea. <sighs> we, um, when we were in LA, Sean and I went to Yakiniku place, like a barbecue, Japanese barbecue place. And, um, it was, it wasn't run by Japanese people, but it was definitely authentic it tasted exactly like it did in japan and i even ordered like an iced oolong cha oolong tea um and i was definitely like oh it takes me back burn dead chickens at 4 p.m that's the first thing i saw gardening dinner 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 at six and at nine i wouldn't complain look for dresser key lost in baths okay plural Baths? Dude, your grandma was fucking loaded. No, I don't want to yet. No, 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 no. I need to explore the house. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if this is just an actual weather report. Is that Kyushu? I think so. I forget what Kanto is. <laughs> UFO <laughs> 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 Kondo no drive. <laughs> Why was there a lizard? Hachu Hachurui? Don't you dare hit him. Ha! Drive that! Kanto is Tokyo Chiba. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Ooh. 
きがない怖い話。レリーさんの電話。<笑> Let's go. Tell me the story, please. Yes. 花子ちゃん、uh oh. Don't go to the bathroom, 花子ちゃん。That's never a good idea. <gasps> She's coming closer every time. <laughs> oh, I thought that was here. That's creepy. Oh, what? That was awesome. The end. Okay. We saw everything. Cool. Oh. Uh, Kokeshi doll, right? Is what they're called. I think. Man, what a. Oh. Dude, that looks like a person's shadow. That's creepy. Honestly, I would be pretty freaked out. Like, the house is gorgeous, but being in a big house like this that has a history. All by yourself? No, thank you. Dear Minato, maybe a sleepover with like 10 people? I'll do that. Thank you for the letter. I was so surprised to see you wrote it all by yourself. You did a great job. Grandpa appreciates it. Your mom won't buy you a bug collection kit, eh? You know, when I was young, I used to collect butterflies too. But someone once told me to not hurt, not to hurt them. That's when I decided to stop catching butterflies. Instead, I decided to just watch them as they live and allow them to stay a part of the beauty of nature. I can't buy you a bug collection kit, but how about this? When summer comes, I'll take you to a place where there are plenty of butterflies and dragonflies. Grandma's busy with housework, so she can't come along, but let's have lots of fun together, just you and Grandpa. Whenever we have to say goodbye, it always makes me feel a little sad. But before you go, I'll give you a good pat on the head and whisper a little magical spell to keep you happy until the next time we meet. I'll miss you, but I have to help Grandma some with some things. So please be good and do as you're told. I promise I'll come see you in summer. Grandpa. What am I hearing? Mm. I thought I heard something rumbling. Like something... Like a little cup or something. Jesus! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Scare me! Okay, I guess that's a hiding place. Good to know then. Sure. Christ. Uh, what are Bathroom. Do you think there could be. Oh, same gun. Grandma's painkillers. Restore HP and stamina. Okay, cool. Gross. There's been a granny butt. Uh, no, not on that one, actually. Or maybe. I can't imagine a grandma at her age still squatting, though. But who knows? Maybe. Japanese people are very flexible. What is this hallway? What is this? A dial lock. この部屋には入れてもらえなかった。Aww. 
Nani, nani. Okay, four digits. Hiding place room. Gotta remember that. Have I been this way? Dude, this place is like a ryokan. A safe point? うすきみ悪い札だな。そういえば昔この家に来た時、これと同じ札をお母さんが見て気分が悪くなると嫌がっていた。それこそ異常なくらいになんだろう。この札を見ていると頭が痛くなってくる。That's like Silent Hill. Hmm. Okay. Dude, I'm getting so many coins. Makes me wonder if I actually should be playing those games a lot more than I am. Bathroom. Key. There might be a key here somewhere that she lost. Oh, there's something in the drain. There's a key in there. How are we gonna get it out though? Magnet? Maybe a magnet? If it's Silent Hill, hook and a thread? You could maybe use a coat hanger like that. Hmm. I didn't actually pick up anything that could be useful for that. Dudes, this house is so big. Altar. Should I light incense now that I'm here? Sure. Respect the dead. Are you gonna... さいちじいちゃんは井戸に落ちて死んだ。物知りで優しい。いいじいちゃんだった。キヌさんはじいちゃんが俺たち家族と親しいことを知っていたのに亡くなったことを娘の母さんにさえ知らせなかった。うん。
Daisuki. I love you at the bottom. Ochi-chan daisuki. I love my grandpa. Cute. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm not ready. Stop. Christ. Just... This doesn't even have to be a horror game. I'm having such a good time just walking around the house and looking at everything. <laughs> Miyama family crest. Nice. Oh, little angry man. She had a lot of painkillers around the house. Write the number down and keep it under the telephone table. Ooh, this might be the code for the back door. Let me write that down. Hey. Um. Say Megan. Okay. Oh, do you think we can hide here too? Like this? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Uh huh. Okay, this loops around. Oh, this is so nice. Ooh, flashlight. There's a flashlight. Gotta remember it for later. Can you imagine living in a place like this? Ugh. Okay, I think... I think I've seen all of the house. Where's the telephone table? If you were a phone... Oh, there. Hmm, screws have gone rusty. The door won't open. Wait, do I have to call an actual number or do you think this is a code to open the thing underneath? Could it be like 323? Or is it something else? Hmm. Order some same egg on. Can I... No, I can't. I was gonna maybe see if I could... No. Can't observe it closer. There's no number on it or anything. Should we take a rest in? Saichijii-chan's <laughs> じいちゃんが生きてさえいてくれたら母さんも死なずに済んだかもしれないのにふん hmm. So we have Oh yeah wait what was written here again Oh the key yeah Dresser key Okay. Let's see what happens. Dude, I'm getting major Fatal Frame vibes. I hope they're fans. And cool, actually. She's wearing 
お腹いっぱいクワの葉を食べさせてあげるのよそうしてきれいな眉を作ったら茹でて殺して糸を取るのかわいそうだと思うのかいギャたとえ眉を出られてももう口はないし飛ぶこともできない卵を産んで死んでしまう人がそういう虫にしてしまったのよ。うん。What? Oh, that's flowers. Oh no. Don't tell me. Did you actually see it or are you imagining what it must have been like? That all happened ten years ago. I forgot. So it's ten years ago. Uh, light switch? Ah, that's better. Oh, I didn't see this. Dear Dad, how are you doing? The other day, my husband Eiji and I attended Minato's entrance ceremony under the warm spring sunshine, watching him walk with that big backpack. I couldn't help but feel proud of our son. Eiji was teasing Minato, saying he looks like a giant backpack with legs, to which I couldn't help but smile too. He always makes us laugh with his jokes. As for me, I'm still the same as always. I feel a little better after drinking water. I still can't bring myself to tell Eiji about my situation, and it tugs at my heart. I wonder how long I can keep this secret. I've spent many sleepless nights worrying, afraid of what'll happen if he finds out. How's mom doing, by the way? There are times when Minato begs me to see his grandma, and I struggle to find the right words to say, I don't think she'll be very happy if we come to see her. Why does mom dislike me so much? It breaks my heart to think that the rest of my family is being shunned because of me. If only I had the courage to confront mom. I'm sorry for constantly venting to you. I know I shouldn't worry you, but I'm a coward who quickly relies on her father. Whenever I hear your voice or read your letters, it gives me peace of mind. I'll write again soon. Please take care of yourself and stay safe. Yui Jinba. I don't know what's happening to mom. Hmm. Should we maybe save again? God, what is that sound from? It reminds me of some game. Genkan no hoda. Tosan ka. Tosan. Wait, is this on? Okay. Oh! Did someone throw a chicken head against the door? どこ何時頃こっちに着くああそのことなんだが今は帰れそうもない今転院先の病院からかけているんだがどうにも厄介なことになってきた先ほどまで警察と話をしていたんだよ 
What? 警察 Why? なんで警察なんかとキヌさんが倒れた原因が病気や事故ではないかもしれないということだ。店員先の医者がキヌさんの首に絞められたような跡を見つけてな。それじゃあの人は誰かに襲われたせいで。まだそうと決まったわけじゃない。決まったわけじゃないが、用心するに越したことはないだろう。It's better to err on the side of caution. I'm not sure. 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 I guess it's not too weird. You took a nap. I'd be thirsty too. Light switch? At least all the power is still. Oh, I guess if she only just had an accident. Accident. That's a dirty sponge or a really old potato. Could be either. Shouldn't you eat something as well? Oh! <gasps> Grandpa? Is that you? Protect the chickens. Or lock the door. Oh, did I leave the door open? Did I sleep with the door open? Oops. Should have really gotten that flashlight, huh? <gasps> Dude, this is like your cue to scram. I guess that's what's been happening to the chickens. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> go, 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 go. Lock the door. Can you even lock that door? <laughs> Jesus. Hiding place, hiding place. The light? Minato cannot defend himself. It's crucial to avoid detection at all costs. Running is faster than walking, though be wary that it consumes stamina on some difficulties. If you run out of stamina, you'll be un unable to run for a period of time. While crouching, Minato gets into a lower position, reducing the sound of footsteps while moving, making it harder for enemies to hear him. If an enemy finds Minato, run and hide. You can enter some places, such as closets, to hide from enemies. A special icon will indicate objects you can hide in. Mm -hmm. Use lean and look back to check your surroundings. Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. Where was the light? I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Do you think she came in? I don't see her, but I hear her.
shouldn't have left all the doors open. I'm so fucked. Can we use the phone? Oh. That wasn't me. I didn't turn on the light. Uh, okay. One, one, two, three. Zero? Tanome, Tanome. Hayaku, get out of here! Hi. Moshi, Moshi. <laughs> Jesus! Where'd you come from? She's like a half silkworm lady. Oh, Jesus. I forget where the closets are. What am I gonna do? She ran. Did you hear that? I think she ran out. <laughs> so what am I doing? Dude, we have a big problem. Do you want to call for help again? Because it seems like she ran off. Front door's open. Do you want to lock it? If only we could. Oh, she knocked over the phone. This is an important number. Don't forget it. Which number? A number was written here, but it's been ripped out. There are faint marks on the paper. Use grandma's key. Um. Why was it on that? We need, like, some charcoal or something. Or a pencil. Maybe the matches? Do we have a pen? That's a hiding space. Um, because that's the number we needed, right? Yeah, but I don't have anything to s see what the thing was that was written down. Ashram incense could work. That's what I was thinking, yeah, but I can't interact with it anymore. That would have been cool. Let's save again anyway, because I got through that whole encounter without getting hurt, so that's amazing. Okay, thank you. I also didn't find anything 
in uh for this key in this tub. The fuck was that sound? There's a cabinet next to the incense. There was. We've looked in that. Oh, she's back! Shit. Yeah, it's empty though. Um. Okay. So. We need like a pencil. We've seen a couple desks. I feel like I've been thorough. I mean, I was in the room with the floor chair. I just... I figured this would be where a pencil would be, yeah, but... No luck. Maybe I should start closing some doors, you know? You can use the key. That's what I tried. I think that means no can do. Do you think it could be something outside? I don't like it. Oh, Sean Raid, hey, we're playing a really scary game right now. <laughs> it's like legit stressing me out. <laughs> There's this really creepy lady with really long hair walking around. You can hear her breathing right now. But we're also trying to find some kind of like pencil to scratch a hidden code. I mean, what's stopping us from leaving the house actually? Should we try that? Maybe we should just try and go out through the front door. Rub some dirt in it. The classic thing would be a pencil, right? Yeah, but you haven't really looked outside properly. I don't... I don't hear her anymore. Never mind. I think she went outside again. But wait, if we want to go out, then that's bad. Also, who doesn't have a pen by their phone? This is the 80s. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Is it locked? <laughs> Hide in a corner until morning. Just sleep here. She'll never find us. Maybe we should wait for her to go back into the house? And then go to the back? Climb over? Yeah, I know! I would definitely be motivated enough. <laughs> Do 
Dude, I do not like this. Maybe she comes in through the back door? I did open this gate. If she is down here, I am so fucked. work do you think she saw me Don't turn around to close the door. Just leave it. Oh! She didn't see me! If only we could open these back doors. <gasps> the fact that she's patrolling outside makes me think that, yeah, we need something in there. But shouldn't we be able to use the chicken head then? Now the question is, is she going to come in through the back door or the front door? That sounds way too close. Oh, this is the bathroom, isn't it? Oh, I went the wrong way. I forget how to go to the kitchen. YOLO! <sighs> okay, is it something with this? Hide in the chicken coop. Oh, she's literally there! How the turns have tabled. Can play a little game? <gasps> what do I do with that? Ashes and cinders. Okay, we got something. Okay, if she's still in that corner of the house... I'll go around to the front door. The key's stuck in the drain. Oh, <gasps> smart! The bathroom. Okay. She's right here. 
Go, 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 go. I guess I'll take the other entrance. Dude, I heard her running off. <sighs> Where'd she run to? That was so loud. She might be outside again. I should save. Okay. Hey. Now where is this? What is this for? Dresser key. What dresser? She's outside. Do we know what dresser? so serious right now. <laughs> this is life or death. Okay, where is it? A dresser key. Okay. Can we blind her with the flashlight? No, it just makes us more easy to detect. So you can only really use it when you know she's not close by. Let me just hydrate a little bit. Can she find us when hiding? I don't think so. I think hiding is pretty safe. Um, Cause we were running from her at one point and I just dove into a closet and that was fine. We got the poker. We got a key from it. It says a dresser key that grandma lost. But I haven't seen... I don't remember seeing a locked dresser. I don't even remember if she had a bedroom somewhere. The door at the end of the corridor was a four-digit lock. Um, so that one we definitely need the message on the notepad for. Maybe the dresser key, maybe the dresser has a pencil or something. I think she comes into this room first before she checks out the rest of the house. The phone cabinet is open now. She sounds really close by. Actually, she sounds like she's on that side. Eat the egg. Yeah, I could. Raises defense. I was, I was keeping it because I thought it might heal me as well, but this one says restore HP, so maybe I should just eat it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like hiding for your life right now. <laughs> I guess things are tastier when you're <laughs> hiding. <laughs> it sounds like she's right here.
like it sounds like she passed by the room right now. It's tastier when it's your last meal. Gotta say, I do really like. I love a boiled egg, soft boiled egg. Ooh. Definitely passing by the room. Found it. It's a fucking pencil! I fucking knew it! Back to my closet. We have a game plan. Just gotta wait for her to leave this house. Which might be now? Because I don't hear her at the moment. Unless she's just like, can you imagine? She might just be like standing in a hallway listening seeing if she can hear me that would be fucking terrifying i think she went to the back of the house again i'm so scared <laughs> What is it? 6340? Okay, you guys remember that for me? 6340. That must be for the back. I'm gonna save and leave this joint. This is good. If she doesn't look back, that is. I'll just keep low. Okay. Six, three, four. Oh, thanks, chat. Scram! Can you lock it? Move it, move it, move it. Quicker. Thank you. Put your weight against it. Oi, Aichi Mama. So what's her story, huh? Where would she come from? Yeah. <sighs> Jesus, that was so tense. Hey, painkillers. I didn't even get hit. <laughs> oh god, it's open. Can you close it? Thank you. Mrs. Kinu, I'm writing to inform you about the results of your examination at her clinic. Based on the diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we've identified an abnormality in your cranial region that appears to be a brain tumor. Symptoms you have been experiencing, such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness, are likely related to this tumor. It's important to address this condition promptly. Tumor requires quick and immediate treatment. It is important to note that your memory may continue to deteriorate and the painkillers you have been taking will only provide limited relief. I strongly advise you to discuss this matter with your family and make arrangements to visit our clinic as soon as possible. Dr. Bonzel. 
Hmm. I wonder if it's operable at all. これはじいちゃんの標本か。じいちゃんは蝶が好きで、俺を膝に乗せてたくさん蝶の話をしてくれたな。Fireplace hmm. like that in Japan? It's unusual. Actually, this room is very western. Now that I think about it. Dear Yui, thank you for your letter. Kino and I are doing just fine. Minato has entered elementary school. How my how time flies. I feel like it feels like just yesterday he was a baby. Can't help but think maybe it's time I'm getting maybe it's because I'm getting older. I can't read anymore. More than anything, how close you are to your family warms my heart. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden is not your fault after all. You feel guilty for keeping something hidden from Eiji, but you're afraid of telling him also. Eiji is a kind man, otherwise I would never have given him my blessing. Whenever you're ready to tell him, I'm sure Eiji will accept you for who you are. What if the creature that's cap like chasing us is actually our mother? Maybe we think she died, but she actually just went back to grandma because she couldn't contain her problem anymore, whatever it is. For years you've been worried, and I'm super thirsty all the time too. You've been worried that Kino, maybe I'm just like mom. You've been worried that Kino doesn't like you. Kino didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became a grandmother. But she's like this with everyone, including me. She never leaves the house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kino could never be a good mother or grandmother. That's why I took you out of her house and moved us into town. I still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness from lacking a mother, despite having one. I'm not asking you to forgive Kino for her behavior, but I want you to understand that she has her own reasons. So maybe the mom was isolating because she had the same problem? I'm so happy when Eiji asked me to leave Kino, but then now she's in the hospital, so I don't know. <clears throat> leave Kino and come live with you three. It brought a tear to my eye. Thanks to him, I was able to return to the Miyama house where Kino is with a clear conscience. Now you have Eiji and Minato. Oh, and then he fell down the well. There's no need for me to be by her side. I've l left Kinu alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well. Yui, you're my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feeling anxious, you can always rely on me for whatever. Saichi. I think that's it. So where are we going next? The shrine? Where we saw her hanging out in the distance. Dude, I'm telling you, this has to be inspired by Fatal Frame 2, right? Collecting butterflies, a dam coming in, a dam being built, storage house. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <coughs> What was she keeping in here? <gasps> the weird key! Oh! So this is whatever... The grandma was guarding this whole time. <laughs> Dear Kinu, I hope this letter finds you well. This is Eiji. It has been quite some time since the untimely passing of my beloved wife, Yui. Today I'm reaching out to you with a few inquiries regarding my son, who is now 13. Minato has, attended starting, has started attending middle school this year, and I wanted to share something I've noticed with you. Since the summer, he's been getting unusually thirsty and consumes a substantial amount of water. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. Meanwhile, in this game, he said like two tiny cups of water <laughs> throughout the day. It's like, you, if anything, you haven't been drinking enough. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he was still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical advice. However, the doctor found nothing wrong with him. <clears throat> Thinking back, I recalled that Yui also had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I had discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was not, no need to worry. I'm curious to know if your husband mentioned anything about this predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I would greatly appreciate your answer. 
I eagerly await your response, Eiji. Do you also feel a need to eat a lot of leaves, maybe? Are you hungry for them greens? Should we try it again? Oh. One more time. Oh. Are you kidding me? Wapu. Oh, that green one is a warp hole. <laughs> The pain of loss. Ah, oops. Okay, so now I get why we get so many coins. <laughs> Did it again? Oh, I give up. Stink. Oh, geez, save point. You scared me. Thank you. Wait, actually, go back to one. We did good. Finish the whole section. That's a that's a slot one right there. That this is a slot one attempt. I don't like this. This is creepy. Should we go up the stairs first? Hi. Hello. Big chest. What is that? What are these? Hawk scroll. Hanging scroll. Woman and a hawk. Hmm, maybe we need to do a scroll puzzle? Depicting a woman on a boat. Yeah, remove that. Oh. So it's winter, fall, summer, spring? Is that the character for summer? Uh, yeah, it just looks different written down. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Princess Mayu, adorned with, a be adorned with beauty untold. Beneath the serene moon's glow, Princess Mayu's sister, consumed by envy's woe, led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free, leaving her stranded a perilous decree. Yet to her surprise, Princess Mayu returned home, her spirit unbroken and her body whole. As the summer... Okay... So spring is lion. Okay. One second. Spring is lion. Uh, summer is hawk. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayu's sister, driven by envy's love, guided her to a shadowy mountain steep where hawks flocked secrets to keep. But again, Prince Mayu defied her fate, returning unscathed through destiny's gate. With autumn's moon shining bright, the sister's patience reached its height. She said Princess Mayu adrift on a boat to a distant sea, the princess was afloat. Yet as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayu returned, defying her sister's hand. Under winter's moon, fear took hold, the sister's heart now bitter and cold. She led Princess Mayu to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried, though her conscience clear, Within the hole which she peered through lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. Okay, autumn is boat. And then winter is garden. Okay. How many do I have at the moment? Jesus. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so I need to get the one from downstairs still. Oh, I don't like you. She wants to come in. 
Oh, the safe point the sound scares me. So what is this little door here? Okay. So the door might open if we hang the scrolls in the right position. Okay. Uh, winter garden. Ooh, the dead body. Autumn. Boat. Summer. Hawk. Spring. Lion. This <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Simple but effective. Okay, here we go. Oh, it opened. Let's just hope she can't get in here. You keep your distance, Mom. I will join you soon enough. But I must find my own time to cocoon. Ooh. This is pretty cool. Hello? Dude, I'm telling you, fatal frame. I mean, traditional Japanese horror, I guess. But for me, it's like fatal frame is my point of reference. Lord Kyube, please forgive me. I have seen nothing. I've told no one. My lips shall remain sealed. I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever. Please let me leave this place. I too am a human being. Please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. Plea from the dungeon. Do you think we're in a... I wonder if this led to the shrine. That would make sense. Nah. There's probably something. Silkworm records. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generations revolves around safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama silkworm threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptional, beautiful, exceptionally beautiful silk produced by the Miyama silkworms earned the nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama silkworms originated from silkworms found sprouting from the body of Princess Mayu. Ah, these silkworms have been cherished and revered, revered as family heirlooms. The female sil silkworm mor the female silkworm moth serves as the crest of the Miyama family. Game really wants me to save again, so let's do it. Push it. Is it like a secret ninja, ninja door? The ones like in Sekiro where you put your back against it and then the whole thing. Yes, let's go. Oh, oops. <laughs> I clicked to nothing. <laughs> Proceed. I saved anyway. <gasps> I forgot to record it! No! Are you kidding me? Fuck! Well, shit. Well, I guess this won't be a separate YouTube video then. The red talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbol is unknown. It is speculated that they represent the sun deity, as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it is exercised. 
I guess I'll record anyway, see how much is left, but I feel like there can't be that much more in the game. Is that why you don't like coming close to it? So this is a safe space then. Like they can't enter this room at all. Ooh, I know. Is that a date? 1930. Wait, maybe the... Maybe that lady that's out and about uh, trying to capture us, maybe she's producing all the silkworms. And that's why it's Thread of the Heavens. That's actually not my mother, but... Maybe it's like a fucking 50 year old grandma. Okay. Be very quiet. Miyama family tree. Ito. Koto Setsu? Where's Ayano? Oh. Oh, Ayano is the older sister. Kinu is the younger sister. <gasps> it's Kinu's sister. Maybe. It would explain a couple things. Flint. Burn the whole place down. Ooh, a map! Miyama Mansion. Wait, is this actually... We're in the Eastern Tatami Room. We came through the storage shed? Okay. This place is big. Miyama Yasuki. Koko wa Miyama ke no kyutaku ka. So nice. Love me a good map. That's a hiding place. Cool. <laughs> oh, she's gone. I just realized. We don't hear her breathing anymore. May 10th, 1929. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My father and brother have always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. Young Saichi's journal. However, in the eyes of Lord Kyubei, I am loyal. I'm a loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows, and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on her, Ayano's figure has been etched in my mind. That hourglass figure, man. Her skin lightly glowing and her sleek, shiny back black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessarily, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hoped that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked butterflies, she replies, I like butterflies. However, I don't like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. But your grandpa ended up marrying Kinu, right? Toilet. Okay. Wow, that's a fancy toilet. That's less fancy. <laughs> I hope that coin isn't sticky. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. I don't know where to go. Oh my God. Oh. 
Holy shit. <laughs> the safe point talisman can repel evil spirits and repel enemies who get close. However, each time the talisman repels an enemy, it consumes magic. When it's depleting the talisman, Depleted, the talisman's color fades and loses it, its effect. You can still save at the talisman. Ah. So it's gone now? Shit. That's a third unit right there. That's a third file. Dude, I panicked. I was like, I don't remember if there's a closet I can hide in anywhere. <laughs> I was just, just run anywhere. Was there a closet here? I could have hidden in. Oh, there was. Well, okay, for next time. I'll try and remember. must be the inner courtyard. Oh no, that's this. Hmm. There's a well in the corner. Well, well, well. There certainly is a well. What do we need? Two locks for wooden keys. Okay, so we need two wooden thingies. Oh, there's one. Okay, so can we tie anything? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we, if we find a bucket. Okay, another closet to hide in. Dear mom, it's been several months since dad passed away. Not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to terms with dad's death. I couldn't even speak with you, mom. Why didn't you tell us right away? You didn't even invite our family to the funeral. If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. Dad was an important role model for me. I wanted to give him a final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind Dad. I was scared to talk to you, Mom. I feared you'd say I hate you. But now that Dad is gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person. There's something I must ask you. On September 21st, I will come alone without telling Eiji or Minato. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written to you many times before and you've never replied. I've been waiting a long time now. Now, see you September 21st. Mm. I wonder if there was a body for them to identify or like, we don't know how sure he is that his mom is dead, right? Okay. Hobar closet. <laughs> that sounds special. Wait. That's this way. Hmm. Crowbar carved on the lock. Okay. We need a key. Stuck on the other side. Oh, okay. Do you think we're gonna go all the way around and loop back? Okay. That's locked from the other side as well. Door won't open. Hmm. 
こじ開けられないだろうか。はあ。old wooden board。You want to try the board? Nice. Trusty board indeed. Okay, where are we now? This feels very Taylor Frame. I'm so happy. <laughs> Silkworm room up ahead. 1929. I was chatting with Saichi, waiting for my sister to get ready. He gave me a pearl hairpin, saying I would match with my sister and her hairpin. I hear neither you nor Ayano ever had ever laid... I heard neither you nor Ayano had ever laid eyes on the sea, he said. I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I would be delighted if you would wear them together. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I wondered if he could hear my racing heart and if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ear, Isn't Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks was extinguished. The pounding in my chest subsided, as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister, reminding me of whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loathes being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano is beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I'm still the only one who can be with her. I am the only one who can place my hand upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. Damn, Grandma. Do you think... Oh, it's a hiding closet. Do you think Kinu maybe did something to Ayano? Like cursed her or something? And then married Grandpa instead? Hmm. See the room below through the gaps between the planks. Something on the desk. Okay. Oh, this is where we saw her. Eee. Don't like it. Butterfly. Is she in that room? Or is she down here? Oh, she's down here. I don't know if I should be here. Ooh. Okay, she's in this little room. There is a closet there. Closet here. That might work. But I honestly I think in my panic, I'll just run back upstairs. She spoke. Stuck in solid grease. I can't get it out. Need firewood to start a fire. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Everything is fucking locked. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I only saw her red glowing eyes. Oh god! Where do I go? Oh, I forgot. I forget everything. Just keep running. Oh shit! Ah! Was there a closet up here? I don't know. Yes.
Okay. <laughs> I was just gonna pause. <laughs> I wanted to take a moment. I guess no moment for me. <laughs> Shit. No, don't do it. Ah, Jesus. Go, oh, run! Faster! Oh god, I can't see anything. Okay. Okay. Where do I go? What do I do? Okay, I think she's further away now. So the button I actually meant to press was this. Oh, I'm in good health though. That healing basically did it. Jesus. Okay. So she must be Ayako then, right? Or was that her name? Was it Asano Ayako? Oh, scratch my nose. Ouch. <sighs> okay. So I went up these stairs, came down these, and then this was locked, this was locked. So the room she was in Basically around here, I haven't checked yet. Um, I think this one I might be able to open from the other side. Um, so I think I just need to make my way back up there. At this closet, these might be hiding spaces, so I think I just got unlucky. I don't hear her, though. Maybe she doesn't come out this far? Was it this way? It's so dark. Oh, she's closed. Oh. Can I hide somewhere here? Maybe, maybe she is coming this way. Maybe I can wait for her to pass by. Ayano is basically the princess in the tale. I thought Kinu was the jealous one. Because Ayano is like the beautiful butterfly. Oh, she's getting close. Here she is. Go, 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 go. This will be perfect. Go this way, and then this way, down here, this way, kitten. Let's just hope it doesn't loop around, actually. <laughs> Rusty won't move. Okay. Okay, I made it here. Let's just have a look around. Firewood, cool. 
When I visited the Miyama family, I caught a glimpse of Aino and Kinu walking together in the front yard. Aino had an innocent girlish smile on her face as she talked to Kinu. But as soon as she noticed me, her smile disappeared. I had a faint suspicion all along who she has eyes for, whose side she wishes to be by, and it's not me. Oh. Hmm. So Ayano just wasn't interested in Saichi? If you're smart, you can also use that. Could technically use that as a bucket for the well as well. Crowbar key. Oh, crowbar key. Cool. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. What should I do? I've gone and lost the key. I had it with me before I went to the toilets, but somehow I managed to lose it. If anyone finds out, I'll be doomed. Lord Kyube will show no mercy. Okay. Oh, I can hide in the box? Ooh. Oh, I can hear her. Wait. Can she be close, though? Maybe she's upstairs? Sounds really close. Oh, yes. <sighs> cool. Okay. Why is it? Oh, it's a new game. Don't bother me. <laughs> so, what do I do with this one? Starts there. Spin. Goal. What does spin do? Oh, like you spin off the road? Okay. So I need to get a... Oh, oops. Just across. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. You can do too much as well. Oh, this is a tricky one. How many do I have? 30? Oh, never mind then. Fuck. 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 Okay, that's too much. How about this? Too little. Okay, so what's the perfect middle then? There? Nope. Do that white line again. There. There. Uh-huh. Okay. Got those. Nice. So where does it go from here? Whoa. Ah, this one is... Ah. Ah, so close. Here. There. This much? No, not enough. Okay. I'm looking at the markings on the back. So it's like there's this blue line right here. See that? So just above that. Then this this like brown spot right there. This one I don't know. That's not enough. Okay. Yellow. What to do, what to do. Too much. Way too little. It's so finicky. Doesn't always work. I want to do it. So 
So this was too much. <laughs> that was not enough. Mm. This one seems really hard. This one might be too hard for me. <laughs> it goes between way too much and not nearly enough. Oh, right. I forgot she's really close. Maybe I should wait for a bit. Yeah, she's really close. So she's probably come down the stairs, but everything is locked. So my guess is that she might go all the way back again. So maybe I'll just wait her out. Could reload. That's true, but... I think they're just like a little fun bonus thing. I don't think they matter for the game. That could be her moving away again. I need to check this end here. Stuck on the other side. Oh, how do we get on the other side of this? It looks completely closed off. Oh, that's the hole in the ceiling. Oh, I see. Okay, I did get the crowbar closet key, I think. Yeah. Okay. Shortcut. Mr. Kube, <clears throat> during our business negotiations, the plate that I had a look at was remarkable. At first glance, it may appear somewhat uninspiring to the eyes of a novice like myself, but I never dreamed that it would have such an intricate mechanism. Only when immersed in cold, clear water does the true beauty of the artwork reveal itself, and I am truly impressed. I hope to have the opportunity to see it again in the future. A plate? Hmm... Plate in cold, clear water. Ooh, crowbar. That's actually not a crowbar. Those are pliers. She might be coming back. Dude, the the talisman. Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> get the fuck out. Sorry. Um. Do you think I need to heal? <clears throat> I probably could. Now are we gonna just jump down? Oops. 
1929. Started being mean to Ayano. I intentionally avoid talking to her and I'm being unfriendly towards her. I love Saichi too much to not do this. No matter what I do, she never asks me why. Instead, on the verge of tears, she says, I'm sorry, Kinu, please forgive me. Even though she has, no she has nothing to apologize for. Today is an autumn dusk. My sister and I ventured into the mountains from the path to the shrine to admire the colorful autumn foliage. I held my sister's hand tightly. She smiled with joy and squeezed my hand in return. She didn't hold my recent behavior against me. She's always been kind to me. Ever since we were children, we would sneak out during autumn. Together, we would watch the leaves turn crimson and, the crimson and the sunset paint the sky. As the chilly winds of late autumn blew, I could feel the warmth of our joint hands. But this will probably be the last time. Next spring, my sister will marry Saichi. Still? Well, I will be married off to someone else. Kino, the maple trees are beautiful. Let's do this again next year. My sister says this with innocent eyes. She torments me, unaware of the turmoil in my heart. A sister who has always been with me is slipping away. I couldn't put it into words, the horrific things I felt. Finally, I unleashed my frustration and revealed everything to her. I will never go again. Why don't you go with Saichi instead? You don't need me anymore after all. I said those words, first forcefully releasing her hand and walked away. I turned my back on her and kept walking, not wanting her to see the tears streaming down my face. From behind me, a faint voice whispered, don't leave me. Pretending not to hear, I continued to walk down the mountain alone. At that moment, I wondered if my sister Ayano was also shedding tears. Bayoniki. <clears throat> I wonder what happened in the end. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Go, 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 One sec. Just realized the time. Stinky endocrine food. That's on the counter. Thank you. Okay. Um, what key did I get? Peony? Is it upstairs? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It doesn't say which ones these are. Change floor? That was so scary. <laughs> um... BB better? Uh, he's not entirely better, no, but um, his insulin doses have been going down continually, and at night he's only on half a unit now. Um, but even that is sometimes too much, so the vet told me to try out no insulin for two nights in a row, so yesterday and today, and then let her know how it, it went tomorrow. Um, but uh, I think... He, that's okay. But I think he's still a little too high. Um, it might be a thing of like, we can do maybe less in the morning and then, I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to her. But yeah, he was on, he was on one unit in the morning and half a unit at night. So now we're just doing one unit in the morning and nothing at night to see how it goes. Um, but he's a little too high. So we'll probably need something at night. Maybe even just a cor- I didn't know she was there. Maybe even just like a quarter. I have no idea where I'm going. Dude, stop.
<laughs> a little booty. Don't turn around. Let me go. Maybe I just haven't found a door yet that fits this thing. I also haven't checked this other servant room properly because she jumped me. <gasps> Shit. YOLO! Oh god, I don't know where I am. Holy fuck, okay. I made it. I'm in the counting... No, I'm in the messenger room. Okay. We're trespassing. This is her house. So she has every right to be angry at us. Dude, I don't want to come out of the closet just yet. <laughs> She's too close. I wanted to go back to the other part of the house, but I don't know if she will. Someone tell her we are trying to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why does she even want us? What does she want with us? On that day, I left my sister Ayano behind and descended the mountain alone. I was certain she would follow me. I anticipated a tearful apology as she had done countless times before, but she never returned. Why did I let go of her hand? If only we had gone down the mountain together, hand in hand, Ayano would still be by my side. I lost her due to my shallow jealousy. I cried and lived in sorrow for days, and now I've run out of tears. I heard someone calling my name on a snowy night, so I looked outside. To my surprise, Ayano was standing in front of the gate. She had been wandering the mountain for a month, yet her kimono, sandals, and hair remained pristine and spotless. However, she had lost her ability to speak. I embraced her tightly, clutching her hand as tears streamed down my face. Ayano's hand was warm, the warmth I at once let slip away. I will never let it go again. So did she just change? She changed during her months on the mountain, maybe? Oh, Tenyan. Now, where did she go? I haven't been on this courtyard yet. Maybe she's gonna pass by now. That sound means that she's coming. Wait, the entrance? But the keys that we want is for here. So back entrance, maybe? The grandma never tell grandpa that I know was alive. I wonder, yeah, to get Saichi. How long will I be streaming? I don't know. I don't. I hope that I kind of hope that this house is like the last part of the game. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she passed us now. Feel so exposed in the courtyard, though. Okay, let's see. 
What have we got? A whole lot of nothing? Got it. Where am I? Oh, this is the old entrance. A sh spade. Used for digging. Do you think we need to dig something up in the courtyard? You're not even gonna try? It's a door! Front door! Okay, what's next? Altar room. Lord Kube ordered me to hide the mulberry chest crest displayed on the altar, buried near the shrine, and the blue one is buried near the stone lantern in the courtyard. Okay. Red near the shrine, blue near the stone lantern. Okay. When I reported to Lord Kube after hiding them, he bowed his head and thanked me. It looked as if a big burden had been lifted. He had a calm expression when I, which I had not seen in a long time. After Lady Ayano's passing, Lord Kube would look constantly agitated. He hardly slept, always drowned himself in books, and always appeared to be reading until his eyes went bloodshot. That serene yet sorrowful expression left me with a sense of unease. Since then, Lord Kube has vanished without a trace. Whoa! Fatal frame too, I'm telling you. Okay, cool. I'll go look for those. Well, that sucks. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yep. Here she comes. Gotta check this corner. Oh, there was a chest here. Good to know. So if we accidentally run into the dead end, we can run here. Close these. So she can't see me hiding in it. <laughs> okay. So we checked here. The courtyard. So there should be a lantern in the courtyard that we need to dig at. I don't think she's gonna come in here again. I might be fucked if she does, depending on her AI. <laughs> I don't know what her cone of vision is. Anyone see a lantern? Oh, there. But where is she? These are all locked doors. Like, this corner we haven't been to yet. So she has to be stuck here somewhere. Unless she went all the way to the library. Is that a bucket? Here's a bucket. Run! Ah, go faster! <gasps> Don't open it! Don't open it! No! Hi. I tried. Ah! 
Hold on. Thanks. I don't know where to hide. I don't know where to hide. Oh, please. Please just let me have this. No! It takes too long to get into the chests. Ouch. <laughs> I know of a closet. I know just the thing. <laughs> that should be okay. Shoulders cracking. Oh, I popped both my elbows. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, <laughs> I hate cracking my elbows. That's so nasty. Says the person who fucking snaps her neck eight times. <sighs> I should save. There are checkpoints though, but yeah, I should definitely safe somewhere I don't really know where they are they're not on the map right oh this closet wasn't that closet one shouldn't run oh fuck she was right there I decided to just stomp the ground right in front of her damn it How did she get here so quickly? So I went down here. Oh, and she just went down there. Damn it. She kind of looks like um, the monster from Wreck. <laughs> the Spanish movie. Oh. <laughs> My elbows. Maybe I should follow her. What are the chances of her turning around, right? Darkness. Dude, I can't see a thing. But I can't hear her either, so... Where does this go? Dude, I don't trust it. I do have a flashlight, but... She might see it. like standing in this room <laughs> that would suck okay i saved um oh that's not my inventory this is i need to dig and i have a thing for the other courtyard and that's one of the keys that's good or actually it might not be it might just be a key for a door could go through that since she's the other way Get some distance. Wait, where is she? Where was she? Was she maybe in the courtyard? Maybe because I was running with the flashlight out. I feel like she might not come all this way, so I'm just gonna take a chance. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. What is it? 
I think it says lift. Yeah. Left silkworm. Does that go in here? Ah, so it is for here. Okay, cool. Okay, so... What was it again? One by the shrine? One was buried by the shrine and one was buried by the lantern. Oh, the shrine is... We're, we're by the shrine. The shrine is here. Do we dig here somewhere? It says this is the shrine. Just out of reach. Wasn't it buried? Just out of reach. Hmm. She's coming. Can use the spade to knock it down. Yeah, apparently we can't. We'll need something else. Maybe, uh... Maybe like a little stool or something, a little step ladder. The poker would have been useful, yeah. Would have been. Yeah, I have no, long, no idea how long I've been playing this. Uh, we were chatting for half an hour, then played Exit 8 for an hour. So that would mean hour and a half, two and a half, three and a half. So two and a half hours so far. Yeah, I think this house then should be the last thing, because I think the game is only like two hours. I'm probably just taking my time more because I'm reading everything. There she is. I think the game is around two hours from what I've seen people play. And check again. Well, should be fine. We'll at least finish this house section and then depending on how long that takes us, we'll decide whether to finish it some other time, maybe. There she is. I knew it! <laughs> Shit! Okay, go here. Uh, courtyard? Uh, not this way. Oh, I'm fucked. Hide in the corner. Oh, shit! Jesus. Oh, how did I get out of that? I closed the door hoping it would help, but no, she's right behind me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I tried. I forget where the closets are. Then she wastes no time. Are there any closets in here? I don't remember. Hi. Ouch. Well, back to old familiar. Oh, I can hear Vivi. Ah! B 
BBs at the door, I think. Big purrs. We're escaping a scary lady. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dick. No, oh, he's such a good little gentleman. Hmm. Hi, baby. You missed me, huh? BB's like, you've been streaming too long, Mom. Where's my quality time? <laughs> you checking out my desk? Is everything up to your standards? <laughs> Where are you going? What you doing? <laughs> like, Pet me, mother. Could you hear the lady any at all? Is she close by? Did she pass by? Oh, big tongue. No? Yeah, I don't hear her. Okay, what am I trying to do? We need to use that shovel. We were gonna dig by the lantern. Oh, baby. Hi. <laughs> so let's try and get there, I guess. We also haven't checked the rest of the courtyard yet. Because she keeps fucking hogging my space. Now, where is she? She better not be here. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, damn it. <sighs> At least now I can pet BB. Yeah, BB. Hi. You had a good dinner? He always wants to cuddle after dinner. <laughs> Just fucking go. I waste no time. Okay. Now I have quite some distance. go well there's one of them now we need to check out the rest here we haven't even been in here anywhere okay coin dude's like I'm fucking rich man got like 30 bucks Box, good. 
I received news of Ayano's return, yet I haven't been able to meet her since the first since she first went missing. Despite my repeated requests to visit her, Lord Kyube only responds with Ayano is unwell. In the midst of my dark and gloomy days, I was suddenly summoned to the Miyama residence. Lord Kyube stared me down with a grim expression. Ayano is afflicted with a severe illness. If you want to see her, you must marry Kinu and become part of the Miyama family. If you change your mind after, you will not survive. As long as I can be with Ayano, I don't care what happens to me. Without hesitation, I accepted his request. Maybe that's why Kinu is so bitter, because she knows that Saichi didn't really choose her. Ayano is in the depths of a dark cave, trapped in a dungeon. She was almost unrecognizable. The woman I'd fallen for was no longer there. To be honest, she seemed no longer human. More terrifying than Ayano, Ayano's appearance was Kinu. How could Kinu be fine with all of this? Inside the cell, <clears throat> Kinu sat by Ayano, smiling blissfully. A chilling sensation ran down my spine. Cool, so Ayano came back, completely changed. Oh, this is the plate. That needs to be in the water. But Kinu felt so guilty about what she did to her that she isn't seeing Ayano for what became of her. I think this leads back. Yeah, let's check here first. Shouldn't have done that. Now she can come through. Oh, nice. Okay. What is that? Oil. Ooh. Oh, what was rusted again? Oh god. I feel like it's been forever. There was an important key in the bathroom, though. You have to do it. Hi, <sighs> <My> baby. <laughs> The kitchen pump. Oh, yeah. Was there nothing in it? Oh, there is. Counting rods key. Nice. Totally worth it. Cool. Okay, let's save that. Shit. Don't know where she is. Counting rod closets. It's across the courtyard. Okay. Honestly, with all these doors open, it should it should become easier to avoid her. <laughs> Hopefully. Wait. Did I see the library at all? I think I missed a door to the library. I think she was alerted by my presence, but she doesn't know where I am. <laughs> Cute baby. He's so nice and warm. Oh, he's tootin'. Baby's tootin'. He's a stinker. Don't do it, beep. She'll smell your toots. Okay, sounds like she's walking away.
Did I miss this one? Yeah. It feels like ages ago when we all celebrated Ayano's safe return. Shimamura, my friend and doctor, went above and beyond to help her. Ayano has been gradually losing her sanity and her appearance was deforming. Watching my daughter mutate before my eyes, I was on the brink of losing my own sanity. How many times did I ask the heavens for her recovery? No matter how many times I called Ayano's name, she looked at me with her blood red eyes. She tilts her head in confusion. She no longer recognizes me. Ayano has transformed into a monster. <clears throat> Amidst my fervent search for a cure, I stumbled upon an ancient document left by our ancestors containing the term Princess Possession. According to it, Princess Possession, or PP, <laughs> is a condition that transforms women into monsters. <clears throat> PP tends to do that. And if we use a certain cocoon to treat Princess Possession, we can reverse the transformation, restoring her to her original form as a woman. Oh. <clears throat> With this cocoon, I'm confident that I can cure Ayano. Hmm. There's a cure for her? Or did it just make her into... Whoa. What is this? Damn. Special door. Hell no. <laughs> In the nick of time. Are you gonna walk all the way down? Time to go. Okay, kitchen pump. Oh yeah, because we need clear water. <coughs> I wonder what that's gonna do. Oh, that's the thing from the library. Okay, pattern appeared on the plate. Vibrantly painted plate with excellent craftsmanship. Green on top, <coughs> blue on right, red on the bottom, black on the left. <coughs> okay. Uh, oh, green. Green, blue, red, and black. There. Written it down. That was that. So we still need the other crest, though. Oh, I have the key. This one. Whew. It's been nearly 20 years since I left here with baby Yui in my arms. Yui's gotten married and I've returned to the Miyama family. I announced my return and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kinu responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kinu must have resented me even if I had abandoned her for Yui's sake. Oh, Saichi. I grappled with the guilt even while living in town. I never forgot them, the sisters. I had resolved to return one day. And even at this moment, I'm still thinking of Ayano. Shimamura committed suicide and I left the village, leaving no one in the Miyama family. Kinu has been Ayano's sole caretaker. Ah, she looks after Ayano every day. Although I have returned to the household, I cannot approach Ayano, let alone touch her. I can only observe them from outside the cell. Even in her state, Ayano is always thinking about Kinu. That is my biggest regret. Do I still envy Kinu even now? In my youth, I gazed upon Ayano and yearned for to caress her fair skin and her silky hair. Yet in the end, I couldn't even touch her fingertips. Even so, I simply cannot give up. 
My desire to see Ayano again consumes me. Yui bears a striking resemblance to Ayano. However, she's not the same. In the journal of my father-in-law, Kyube, which was discovered within the mansion, he talks about a cocoon. Had he found a way to bring her back? If the words written here tell the truth, then I will reclaim Ayano by any means necessary. Damn. Oh! Little steppy letter! Yeah! That's what we needed. Is that it? Okay. I hope that she's still on the left there somewhere. But she could be anywhere now, because everything's open. <sighs> like that. That's exactly where we need to be. Oh. That's a slot four right there. I don't know if BB wants to leave. Hope she didn't hear me. I'm going to use my steppy ladder. Okay, now we have both. Okay, so. Altar room? I think it was. Okay. She get here so quickly. Don't mind the steppy ladder. I didn't do anything. Dude, I thought she was way at the other side of the house. She must have gone straight by the kitchen to where we were. My god. Keep going. Okay. Is it here? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, turn left, turn right. And we need 
Green up top, blue on the right. Where's the black one? Oh, it's in the down there. Okay, so we need to bring this one up. This one down. So Oh, I see. Okay. Uh green, blue, red, black. Yeah, that's it, I think. So if I do this here, that there. I just need to uh turn this one. That should be it. Okay. What is that? Library key. Did I read this? Uh, no, I don't think so. When I came home from work, I found Yui crying in the living room. I immediately went to check on her. I noticed her face and uniform was stained with blood. In her trembling hands was a lifeless canary. It was the can canary I had gifted her on her 13th birthday. When I asked her why this was, she said she was thirsty, so thirsty she couldn't bear it, so she drank the canary's blood. I had hoped for her to have a normal childhood, but deep down I knew this day would come. I was horrified, but knew that Yui's heart would shatter if I did nothing. When I first held baby Yui in my arms, I made a vow to do anything for this child. Much like her mother, she is my pride and joy. I told the weeping Yui that her she inherited her bloodlust from me. I feigned silence to let it sink in. By shouldering the blame for Yui's bloodlust, I hoped to keep her grounded to the world. I offered my apologies through tears. Yui, in turn, urged me not to cry. After that, I began going to the butchers to purchase blood. Yui and I would drink it together. Oh. Damn. Okay. So, library key. Oh, it's right around the corner. Mmm. Damn. Okay. Oh, tree. Bamboo. Cool. Okay, we can hide here. That's good. <gasps> the other key! Oh, we did it. Saichi, agitated, told me he had discovered a way to cure my sister. What was this man thinking? He had once recoiled at the sight of my sister. He abandoned us and fled to, to town with Yui. I've never found Ayano to be ugly. No matter how many years pass, she remains as enchanting as ever. I've kept her hair long and sleek and her lips red. I was always jealous of her beauty and still am. Ayano is as beautiful as ever. Saichi is trying to separate us. Such a thing must not come to pass. I cannot bear it. I will not allow Saichi to take Ayano away from me. I threw my pearl hairpin into the well. I've tried to discard that thing many times, yet I could never bring myself to do it. I asked Saichi to retrieve it. Oh, he chuckled and assured me, don't worry, I'll get it for you. Kinu, no! I embraced Saichi from behind as he peered into the well to retrieve it. I drew him closer into my soft embrace. What's the matter, Kinu? I heard his gentle voice. It's nothing, I replied. Then with all my strength, I pushed him straight into the well. That was the first and last time I touched Saichi. Jesus! Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know! Kinu sucks! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Get out of here! Oh my god, it's not over yet. <laughs> There's more. Well, Bibi's been fed now anyway, so we can keep going. She's not coming through. Jeez. Oh, jeez. 
So intense, huh? Oh, hiding place. Oh, what's that? That looked like a little poopy, poopy symbol. Hmm. Wait, I think I need to get back though, because I don't think I had a butterfly key at all. Thank you. Okay. Getting new stuff, that's good. What's that? Old picture. Ooh! Uh, 1933. I don't know. I was awakened in the middle of the night by someone pounding on my door. I went out to see... Oh, the doctor. To see a panicked servant from Miyama family. Miss Ayano, who had been missing since she ventured into the mountains, had returned. I couldn't believe my ears. Despite my disbelief, I trudged through the snow and arrived at the Miyama mansion. My medical supplies in hand. Miss Ayano was leaning against her sister, Miss Kinu. They were seated on a tatami mat. Miss Ayano was just sitting there, staring blankly. I was concerned about her mental and physical state, but upon inspecting her, there wasn't a scratch on her. It was difficult to fathom how she had spent a month in the cold, frigid mountain mountains unharmed. Then a rather unsettling sensation washed over me. A month passed since Miss Ayano's return. She still doesn't speak and spends all her day in her room, staring into space. Whenever someone tries to talk, she only glances at them. However, when Miss Kinu is by her side, she seems to be happy. She leans against her with a smile. There are two sisters who lost their mother as a child. They must be like two halves of a whole. Lord Kyube mentioned she's a timid girl. I'm not surprised she does not want to speak after that. But there seems to be something amiss. She drinks water like she's about to die of dehydration. She hasn't eaten nor slept since her return. Furthermore, she doesn't even need to go to the bathroom. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom, yet Miss Aino remains sheltered in her dark room. When did she last touch sunlight? Yesterday, Lord Kyube opened the door to her room, intending to show Miss Aino the cherry blossoms. However, as soon as sunlight poured in, something terrifying happened. Miss Aino let out a piercing scream and crumpled to the floor. It sent shivers down my spine. Hmm. Her skin appeared inflamed, as she had suffered a severe sunburn. Beneath the damaged skin, I could see her raw, reddened flesh. Okay, so we have to basically survive until dawn then. Miss Ayano keeps losing weight, but is somehow growing taller. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that her limbs are becoming elongated. She used to be petite, but now she's taller than I am. Furthermore, no matter what injuries she sustains, they miraculously heal within a matter of days. Her burns from the other day have completely healed, not a single scar remaining. Yet there is something even more chilling than this transformation. There are moments when Miss Ayano stares at me. Her sunken, hollow eyes glare at me as if she were a predator and I was her prey. My worst fears have come true. Lord Kyube has secluded Miss Ayano. She is in total isolation. Miss Kino is burdened with the sole responsibility of caring for her. And then tragedy struck. Miss Ayano bit, a fa bit and fatally wounded one of the servants. She ate her. That night I told Lord Kyube that there was nothing I could do. He pleaded with me. Please do not abandon Ayano. I couldn't stand seeing the anguish in the eyes of my dear friend. I felt as if my heart would tear in two. I found myself forging Miss Ayano's death certificate. The doctor, a doctor should never do this, but for the sake of my friend, I had to. To conceal the murder, we used the body of a servant as a decoy. This is how we faked Miss Ayano's death. It was the only way to protect her from the public. Lord Kyube and I decided to confine her to the dungeon connected via the hidden passage. This is the fourth spring since Miss Ayano's return. She remains imprisoned within those walls. She survives by consuming the blood of chickens, cows, and sometimes even humans. Her once beautiful figure is no more. She is a mere shadow of her former self. Her nose has receded and her left eye is punctured. In its place, multiple insect-like eyes have emerged. Upon her black pale back, a pattern resembling the markings found on a silkworm have taken form. Nowadays, unless accompanied by Miss Kinu, I dare not approach her. Should I venture in alone, she would undoubtedly tear me apart. Miss Kino told me, sometimes my sister experiences stomach cramps. I conducted an examination and noticed movement within her abdomen. Ever since Miss Ayano's return, I had noticed a gradual swelling of her abdomen. Initially, I attributed it to ascites, ascites caused by malnutrition. But to my shock, it appears that she is pregnant. 
If she is indeed pregnant, she has been so for six years. Nine years have passed since that fateful day. How much longer can I maintain my sanity? My dear friend Kyube has vanished without a trace. Tonight, aided by Miss Kinu, we will extract the child from Miss Ayano's stomach. Her body has undergone... Under, oh. My mom is her baby. Her body has undergone too many transformations over the past nine years. She is incapable of giving birth. We have no alternative but to surgically open her abdomen and remove the child, a cesarean section. My body trembles in fear. I wonder if the child will bear any semblance of a human. The truth is, it will not be born of a human. So Ayano is our grandmother, I think. Because Yui is then our mother, right? And then she had the thirst as well, and I have the thirst. And Yui and Kinu didn't want to talk to Yui at all. I was I was thinking it was weird because um, Kinu said something like, Saichi never touched me. Like, that's the first and last time I'll ever touch you. So even though they married, they actually were never intimate. So they never had a child. Oh, the plot thickens. Grandma! <laughs> okay, there's a courtyard on our left. I don't think I checked out the tatami room. But this must be their childhood place oh okay oh i forget that he speaks sometimes and then it's been a while and he suddenly says something i'm like oh hello father gave us a trick box he said it's a rare toy he told us that it was a box that would only open when turned in a specific order i know was worried about forgetting the sequence so we created the secret story together to remember it once upon a time, there lived a nice old man. He found a mysterious boat in the mountains. Inside the boat, there was a princess. The old man cared for the princess, but she caught a disease and passed away. Princess's body turned into a pure white silkworm. Silkworm continued to spin its thread until it became a large cocoon. Okay, man, boat, princess. Sick, worm, cocoon. Man, boat, princess, sick. Is that a save? Ooh, what is this? Excuse me? I'm off the map. Hello, thank you. Ooh, crane. Okay. Well, this is a nice location. The secret passage. Yes. So that was where they were keeping her. I feel like it's about time she showed up again. Don't you think? Old picture. That must be her cell. Oh, no, I have been here, yeah. I don't have any keys, no. Uh, I guess I haven't checked the courtyard yet. Is there a door here? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Is that a mirror? Grape. What do I get? Yui has died. Eiji informed me she's... Oh, this is Kinu. Eiji informed me she threw herself onto the railroad tracks two evenings ago. I knew this would happen. There was no way Yui, who bore such a striking resemblance to my frail sister, could bear it. There was no way she could. On that day, Yui came to see me alone. She was all dressed up, not unlike my sister would be. My feelings of disdain came rushing back. She was a spitting image of Ayano, who I both loved and despised. 
Yui is a mere imitation of her. Yui had the same face and voice as my sister. Why do you hate me? She asked. Since she wanted to know that badly, I escorted her to the dungeon and showed her the truth. You are not my child, nor are you Saichi's. You were cut from the womb of that abomination. It is in the nature of a monster to crave blood. Out of pity, Saichi lied and said your bloodlust was from him. For many years, against his will, he had to choke down blood alongside you, a monster child. Finally seeing the truth, Yui turned speechless. She didn't scream, she didn't cry, she just stood there. I did not know what Yui did thereafter. I do not care about what happened to her. God, she's such an awful person. Trick box. How do I... Where do I put it? Oh wait, maybe... No. We know the order, but... Do we have like a place we put it? No, the the plate had to go in water and we did that. Was there anything in the dressing room? Hiding place, good. Do I need to take the trick box? Oh, I forgot this was here. Nice. Oh, maybe it's this. Old man, okay. Uh, rotate box, check box. Of it started with old man boat. Okay. Uh, then what? Princess disease. Princess, right? Then disease. Okay. Then cocoon. Oh, it turned it too much. No, that's not it. Uh, reset. Old man, boat, princess. Oh, that's old man again, right? And then this way, and then silkworm. That not it? Oh, silkworm before coco. Okay. Oops. <laughs> This one, this one, this one. Oh, oh, ah, I pressed the wrong button. So disease, then silkworm. Golden key. Where do we? This needs a mirror. Was it back here? Ah, 
Oh, that's a crane. Oh. Uh, I should save, though. Oh, the... Yeah, the chest at the entrance. Right, right, right. The butterfly one. Oh, my right foot's super asleep. Here, this one. Not locked anymore. Ah, cool. Thank you. There. Now what's in this one? Kina looks so sad and resentful. She said, I know you're like a butterfly. This left me speechless. All I could do is hold back my tears. It pains me to see Kinu suffer because of me. All I want is for Kinu to be happy. But I'm not a butterfly. I'm more like a silkworm. I was given a mulberry tree in a warm, in a warm silkworm room. I never needed to leave and always had someone to care for me. My body dissolves within the cocoon and I dream without ever being able to fly. I merely cling to life. But so long as Kinu is by my side, I am content. Considering Kinu's feelings, maybe it's better I leave this silkworm room. If I disappeared, Kinu could be with Saichi. Yet I can't bring myself to leave. My marriage to Saichi is approaching. And the more I realize how little time we have left, the more I cherish my time with Kinu. I know what happens to silkworms once they leave the silkworm room. That's what I'm afraid of. If it were up to me, I would remain by her side forever. Man, uh, it also explains why Saichi was so nice to Yui because it was the daughter he wanted basically. Cranky. Okay. The daughter he was hoping for with Ayano. Let's save another time. Just in case. We don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> this game is so my vibes. I love this. Oh, another one. Kinu abandoned me. Kinu is crying. Kinu hates me and loves Saichi. I don't want Kinu to cry. I don't think she loves Saichi because she pulled uh, pushed him down a well. I want death. She is too pure. I cry and she hugs me. She shoots threads and we form cocoon together. In the cocoon we dissolve and merge together as one. I am being lost. I stop being me. I forget many things. Her memories replace mine. She keeps eating me. I'm so thirsty. Give me red water. Who's the old man outside standing there? Ayano, he cries. Who is Ayano? Is it me? Old man enters cell. He strokes my head and cries. Kinu laughed and said, Bon appetit. Kinu gives me tasty water. She calls with a gentle voice. I'm happy. Kinu is precious. Save me. I'm scared. I forget Kinu. She ate almost all of me. Who am I? Where do I begin? Please don't eat more memories of Kinu. Before I forget Kinu, kill me. Damn. Um, I'm a little scared that if I look at that noose, I get a certain ending that I'm not hoping for. Ayano was constantly vomiting blood. She has since stopped moving. She drank the blood I had prepared for her, knowing I had poisoned it. I had no other choice. I was sick and dying. Soon I would be sleeping with the fishes. My frail arms were withered like a dead tree branch. Oh, so Kinu tried to kill her because she knew she was dying. And she couldn't take care of her anymore. Once I'm gone, who will take care of my sister? Who will bathe her, trim her nails, and brush her hair every day? Who will society? How will society treat her? They will look at her with fear and morbid curiosity and call her a crazy monster. She will be treated as subhuman. I cannot subject my sister to this fate. My greatest fear was forgetting my sister. My sickness grows and my memories are fading. Each night I lay down with an unbearable headache. The anxiety crushes my soul, the nagging question of it. I will even remember her next morning. 
I killed everyone, my father, Saichi, Yui, and even my sister. I was left alone with a noose. I am dying in pain. Wait, she killed Kyubei as well? I apologize. Do we, did we know that? We knew that he disappeared, but... I know how my sister really felt, but I treated her poorly out of envy, despite knowing how vile it was. I admired everything about her. That's why I despised her. My sister was the only one who truly understood me, despite knowing how cruel and merciless I could be. Yet still, Ayano cared for me more than anyone else. When the sun set, she would light up the house for me. She did so to prevent me from falling. My eyes and legs are old and weak. She would always gently massage my wrinkled, cold hands. Her mind is almost completely void of memories, yet she never forgot about me. That is enough. We found happiness in our own way. We knew all things come to an end. Forgive me, as this was the only way to save my sister. I do not know what happened to her on that day. I do not know who the she she writes about is. But I, like her, also wish to, to dissolve in a cocoon and become one with my sister. Kino, you're a fucking awful person. Mm. Hi, Grandma. What do I do? Oh, should I just run? The rope attached to the stake attached to the ceiling. Perhaps a strong enough force could break it. Um. How do I do it? I don't know. Oh! Ouch! Oh. Um. Do I, do I need her to hit it? Oh god. How do I get her to hit it? Did that do it? I think that did it! not ideal, but it worked. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, so she can break them, but how do I get her to break them without hurting me? Jump. Jump. Ow, she didn't even hit it! Ouch! <laughs> oh god! How? Perry? Yeah, I wish. I think that does it, but like that fucking kills me. Well, I have enough healing to just power through it, but there must be a better way. There must be a better way! No, you can't! <laughs> Jump. <sighs> ah. Okay, it worked, but at a cost. I don't even know what we're doing, really. What is this gonna do? Is she gonna just like hit it? Do it. Okay. What do we do now? Oh god. Tied to a plank? She hurts so much. Oh, this one's still attached. Ouch. <laughs> She's just assaulting me. Okay. Do it. Do it. Jump. The running is so, like, touch and go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try again. 
Jump! Jump! Ah, not that way. Oh, I know. Crouch under the rope. Ooh. Do you think that will work? This way. Th right here. This thing. No, she didn't. <laughs> she just hit me more. <laughs> Stand more in front of the rope. Yeah, that did it! That did it. Thank god we had so much healing. Go, go, go! Aren't you gonna crush yourself too then? She pushed you out of the way. Didn't she? Well, that was clumsy, but I did it. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. But now what am I gonna do with my bloodlust? No! So how did she end up like this? Spending a month in the mountains. Oh, are you gonna mercy kill her? She might just heal though. I don't think we could kill her even if we wanted to. <gasps> I mean, we're the same. We're the same kind of creature. I'll probably spare her. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> And see what happens. I know about Chang. That also explains why Kinu didn't want to move away. And that's why Kinu had chickens in the fridge. She was feeding Ayano. Oh, the dam is cancelled? Tosan,にはわからないよ。父さんの人だから。俺のことは忘れて、二度と電話をよこさないでくれ。couldn't you explain to him what's going on? <laughs> Do you think she's still stuck under the rock? Oh no. Okay, now I feel bad not killing her. <笑><笑><笑> What a great game. That was really intense. The level design was fucking great. Oh, that was so cool. That was really awesome. What a great one. Not a chillest game. No, 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 no. This is a much bigger game. 
Although we are getting another Chilla's art later this month, so... That'll be fun! What happens if we killed her? I don't know. We, I don't know if we can reload a checkpoint or something. We'll have to see. But... Yeah. I wonder what happens. I'm worried though. What if we kill her and then go our own way and then end up killing our father or something? Like accidentally drinking his blood or something. Yeah, Kino is an awful person. Holy shit. Her entire life was just like... She was so envious of... Um, I don't know, that she just destroyed her entire life and anyone that ever cared about her. That's crazy. How does she get pregnant though? Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, I did forget Lemon about the guys. I don't know if they're... Well, no one said anything. So I'm assuming we're not doing today then. It's already 8.20. Although maybe, maybe in like 40 minutes. They usually want to do nine. Shop bonus content. Descendant of a Xenomorph. <gasps> Unlocked nightmare mode. God, no. This was already hard enough. She was constantly on my ass. Um, continue? It depends where it's gonna put me. The fight? Oh no! Just a decision. Oh, cool. That's nice. Then I guess we're gonna kill her now. <clears throat> That's nice, we can kill her. <laughs> How considerate. <laughs> Do feel bad for her, yeah. Goodbye, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> uh, look away. Okay. She did want to be killed, yeah. Because she was completely forgetting who she was. This town looks so nice. Did he bury her here? You're a heartless beast. Okay, good. それでも話をしたかったよ。綾野 Oh, right. Oh. Wait, so Kina did end up dying. Yeah. I think... Oh, I knew it! I knew you couldn't kill her! あの<笑><笑> Did she finally go to the next phase of her life? Oh, 
Oh. Don't they have to move the bodies then? You can't just flood a graveyard, right? And all these houses? The houses maybe, but... Oh! There she is! たとえこの川木に障害さえなまれることになっても俺の中にどんな血が混じっていてもそれでも俺は人として生きるよダヤのばあちゃんダヤのばあちゃん Oh, damn. Okay. She finally touched grass. I mean, she's been out before. I, I do really like that idea. I totally didn't realize she meant... So, Kinu meant to poison her, kill her, and then... Um, hang herself right there in that spot. And then Ayano stopped her, carried her out to the surface so that she would be found by any someone to take her to the hospital. Because I'm, I'm guessing that Ayano probably doesn't understand or even know about the tumor, the brain tumor. She probably doesn't understand why Kino did what she did. Yeah. She burned in the light. How can she be out now? Oh, yeah. That's true. Wait, actually, we saw her out when we first arrived in the town. That's true. Well, I'm definitely gonna end it here, though. I've been live for a long time. That was super fun. I really liked today's games. I'm so sad I didn't record this properly. I'll try and see if it's somehow salvageable um, and can maybe edit it down still, but the YouTube quality is much lower than Twitch when you download it. Unless I'm overlooking something. I might have to look into it, but... Um, I might just leave it like this if the if the quality is too low, you know. Then it might just be might as well just leave it like this. But yeah, I I did have a great time playing that. That was really fun. Two Japanese, two great Japanese indie horrors back to back today. What a day. Um, next up, I think I might have a sponsored stream tomorrow on Twitch. And then later this week, I want to play the new Dave the Diver Dredge content. I have no idea how long it is. I don't know how big it is. I'm assuming it's probably like two or three hours um, for to see the whole thing. I'm assuming it's probably something like that. But if, it, if it's bigger, we'll stream more. But um, yeah, I think that's like Thursday or something. So soon. I think it was 15th? Friday. Um, but Friday or Saturday, I would say, because it, it might come out like 5 p.m. Friday, and then it's kind of a little bit on the late side. Yeah, we could also do another farm day this week. On second thought, I, I am going to do the thing where it's like the winner is not going to be in the next poll. So Stardew won't be in the next poll, but then in the poll after, it'll come back. Because um, I do want to give all the other games a chance to win. All the games should technically have a chance to win, you know? Um, so I think the rest of the week will be on Twitch for for now. Um, all the other plans. I don't know when I'll do YouTube again. But today was just super handy because I didn't have anything ready to upload. So I figured, you know what, just do it on YouTube and then at least I have my upload for the day. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good time. Thank you so much, everyone who became a member today, who subscribed to the channel. Um, that's it, right? On YouTube. I don't have bits. I don't have raids. Technically, kind of had a raid from Sean, which is really nice. But yeah, it's, it's different here. Things are different here. There's six endings. Uh, two is fine for me. Um, if you want the other four, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube or buy the game. Play yourself. I think that'll be good. I think I've seen basically what the game has to offer. Yeah. But thank you so much, everyone. I had an awesome day. Um, I'll 
be back streaming, I think, tomorrow on Twitch. Uh, I also have a cool indie horror lined up for tomorrow to upload on YouTube. So whichever you prefer. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow on Twitch. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks so much.